Alright everybody, so welcome back with some more DRS gameplay. In this video, I'm gonna go on a single account and play it to basically whatever elo it ends up in in a singular series. And on this account, I'm just gonna be playing Darius or maybe some other champions if the matchup is right for it. Now, here we are in a silver slash low gold lobby. As you guys can see, this is the first match that I'm playing on this account. This is really the first one. Aside from that, it's been a fresh account thus far. And MR moves real quick these days, so <laughs> you can really get to the higher MMRs very, very, very quickly. Here is the rune page that I'm using, the Conqueror Sorcery rune page, because we basically want to be super, super aggressive here, right? It is a little low, and I do want to uh, bully some people around, so yeah, let's just get this match done quickly and rank up faster out of this elo. I'm going Deep Blade. Garen is a melee match we're supposed to dominate, so... Thorns Blade is going to help us do that easier. <clears throat> Coffee. The thing about lower elo is that I could just go and talk about team composition and whatnot, but that's not really exactly necessary. The main idea is that things like meta, team comp, these sorts of factors don't really matter as much as they do in high elo as they do... They, they don't matter as much in low elo, right? As much as they do in high elo, because... Basically speaking, you can't really count on, oh, Cassio is a ranged mage, so he's going to do ranged mage things, because that Cassio is not going to play Cassio properly, right? The thing that's like the hallmark of this rank is that nobody plays their champions properly, right? Nobody plays properly. So, you can't really expect people to kind of, you know... You shouldn't count champions as the factors you normally count when people don't play them properly anyway, right? So, that's why you shouldn't give too much of a mind to these things. Look at these um, little noobies ping me. I love them. Who cares, right? Um, oh, that's a fed bot side. Seems we gotta crush this Garen. And then dominate the rest of the map. Okay, these, these pings are being spammed, actually, so it's getting annoying. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is let the Garen walk up melee. Get a nice trade. Don't want to step in the turret range there. I could try to ghost with W and go for that, but I want to just get the trade without even sacrificing anything. Right? Just get the hook, get the five stags, and leave. Noxus will rise. Bring the ring! Hmm. That's a pantheon dead. Never retreat. I should have gone for the W. I can 2v1 them. The Garen is so low HP that he really can't like stand up to us here. Which means that in the 2v1 gang, it's basically just us against the Gregos. Alright, I'll just ghost in preparation. I'll walk like this to be out of vision. Hook, auto WQ, dead. There we go. We go to the road so we can catch up to him. I walk like this so that we could use the bush to obscure him seeing us to like prevent him from getting away quickly. Now I'm gonna do is walk here. I don't have my hook. If I had my hook, I would have killed him there actually. That's fine. We're gonna recall here. Garen pushed the wave and then started recalling, or did he now? Did he know? If he's gonna stay, I'm gonna stay too. Fair enough. If I recall, he gets the crash in, which gives him gold, and I don't want to give him more gold than he, you know. I want to basically just choke him of gold, not have any amount of CS given to him. Which is why I'm just gonna go for the freeze here. Staying in like this lane like this is not usually a great idea, right? Because you're basically making this that. 
all this gold that you farmed is essentially just worthless, right? This gold is just like idle. It does nothing for you. It only materializes into something useful once you buy stuff with it. So when you're sitting on gold like this, you're kind of just wasting the potential of that gold. However, given what we're trying to do here, I'm just going to stay right, and kill this guy. Because I have red buff. EQ combo. Damn. I thought he tried to flash into my Q, but he didn't. So it didn't matter. Now let's leave. Recall. We have a lot of gold here, so we can spin it on whatever we want. Their bot lane is becoming really fed. So I think we have to go for Stride Breaker to be able to catch up to them. Right? Ezreal Sona. They have a lot of mobility and move speed. I think even after Stride and even like a DMP, we will still need our summoner still to be able to get on top of them, right? But having that base amount of move speed is quite important. Like, people really underrate this 2% move speed on Stride Breaker. Like, this is more important than you think. And it's why Stride Breaker has like that edge over Triforce and it's used My more often, right? Clear. Like, it just. Like that mo move speed allows you to do a lot more against more ranged champions, more hard to get to champions. And as we all know, move mobility is Darius' huge weakness, right? That's why we go ghost on this guy. But. Oh, I'm gonna get this boy. That should kill. Yep. Because of how underleveled he is, he doesn't have the base HP to survive me at all. So just walked at him. Full combo. Dead. Get this wave here. <laughs> yeah, my, my CSing definitely needs work. Oof. Okay, let's recall. Get that gold. We don't want to stay around here and wail at turrets for too long due to multiple reasons, but number one, if I stay here and do this, then Garen is going to get here, right? And because he's in lane and I'm not, he's going to get a better recall because he's able, to, he's able to stay in lane and farm more, okay? We don't want to have Garen be in lane when we're not in lane, because when we're in lane as he is in lane, he basically can't do anything. He can't farm. He can't function, okay? So now that we're not in lane while he is in lane, look at all this gold he's getting. And this is all because we went for that plate, right? Obviously, it's not the bad thing to go for that plate because we can stop him from getting this plate, right? But, like, just get the idea, right? Actually, never mind. He has Demolish, which, I mean, we could just Ghost up him and kill him here, but I'd say that's a bit of a waste. Yeah, because he's Demolish, we can't actually stop him. If he just did all the attacks, we would, but no. Fair enough. Let's just get this thing crashed in. We could play the slow push, but at the current moment, it's not the best idea because the tempo of the game is not going well for us. I have to be more mobile and active on the map. And part of that is just pushing this in. Ganon also probably recalled here, which is why I'm gonna proxy. Okay. I'm gonna walk them. What I'm trying to do here is stop Ganon from getting on, like under the turret here, so that he doesn't get any gold. This is mainly possible because the Cassio is not coming up here. That's him dead. Now just look at how devastating that is because not only does it just die here, but he loses all this gold that I just crashed in the moment before. And he's going to lose all this as well. Like this is like a low elo life hack to just Put your opposing top laner out of the game because the only recourse that an enemy top laner has to you just blocking the road here is to get help from his teammates right and you guys know how top lane is right you can't really count on junglers and stuff earlier on so if you're strong enough to do this to the enemy then they are completely out of the match now one thing to be careful of is you have to pay very close attention to the movement of the enemy team because if you're doing this you're fed right you have to make sure to not die, and if the enemy team does organize like a three-man like gank on you, they can very easily put you down. 
So if you're going to do this, try to get some good vision or try to make sure that the enemy is formatting a bot lane, for example, or they're, like, they're too busy to deal with you, right? Before going for this. I could do this because, like, Gragas was bought, and also Gragas was weak enough to the point where I could just 2 one him and the Garen. And the Cassie was just farming mid, right? If the Cassie just, like, just went missing and ran up here, I would have just tried to leave as quickly as possible, okay? Make no mistakes. But because they weren't here to help him, I could just, you know, bully him. Hmm. Try to get, like, a strike on him. Past, past him as well. Raging. Boots wise, we're thinking of Merc Chase, by the way. For the tenacity. They have a, a, a decent amount of CC. Though a Death Stance would come into handy at some point in this match. I ran in, killed them both. Now I'll do this with the Garen because our ghost is still running. <laughs> oh boy. We reach him. We have a better angle to his escape route. Close. Very close. If I used my ultimate earlier on, we would actually killed him. I knew the quick combo would kill him there, so I went for auto WQ stride, and then one more auto attack at the end. Now, we were incredibly powerful top lane, what really accelerated our lead was us going down here to kill them both. That shot our strength level to the moon there. Because not only did we get the value, like the golden XP value of two kills, but we put down their enemy jungler and their mid laner. That's two people that are weaker than they used to be, okay? Death in League isn't just about the gold that you receive, but it's also about the fact that your enemy is dead, so they can't farm. They can't do things on the map to increase their champion strength, strength right? So, like, that's why killing someone is so devastating, right? You get the gold, and they lose out on gold and XP. It's like a double impact thing, if that makes sense, right? I'm going to start back here because I'm going to be doing a lot of work on my own, right? I don't expect help. I'm not going to rely on help here. I'm just going to operate on my own as best as I can. And we had the, the money for the, like, the whole breaker, so I just got it in one go, right? <sighs> I'm going to hit that. This is the third shot. Um, I think it's time I get down here. These look, these guys are really looking like they're struggling. That's him dead. All right, go go go. Yo. If we were on the Gragas, we would have just like he would have survived there. Right. Can't just wail on this turret here. Not the best usage of our time. Mostly because the Gragas can just like mess with us down there. Right. Make no mistakes. Very certain I can out move speed him. Unless he just gets it. Yeah, you can have it. Whoa there. Well that's on you. I think it's a good idea for me to go mid anyway. Is clear. And him to cover top. Mid is easier to roam out of. Right, Cassio. The main, idea, main, the main idea against Cassio is just dodging her... Uh, those things. You, you. You go top. Well, what's happening down here, man? Alright. We can cook a lot of bot lane, but I'd prefer to have my flash first. Because... It might get a bit dicey, honestly, unless they just choose to fight here. Oh my god, they do. Okay, guess we're... Okay, they are. Good. 
Is there a ward around here? Gotta dodge those. If I got the if I get her with my hook, I just one shot her straight up in one go. Mm. Okay, because there's two kills on the table, I'll let them walk up a bit. I want them both. Oh, he got killed by the the Garen. Could just ghost and kill him at any moment, but had to be patient. So you can't rely on him to hold top. Okay, Flash is coming out. Good. Get down here. We have both of some, so we should be able to eliminate both of them. <clears throat> Good. Just jump over with this thing. How convenient. Let's kill the Sona quickly. Not the Ezreal. Just let my ghost up. Good. Top, I mean, go mid rather, because that's our home now. Gotta cut her off. So there should be like a surrounding thing when we need the Silas. Good. That's him dead too. Now we get the turret. Not the best use of my flash, honestly, but I just wanted to get this turret down to give us the. to open up the map a bit. Turrets are really important. Think of it like territories, right? If you've played RTS games, you'll get this really easily, but each turret has territory around it that it protects, okay? So, top turret has this territory, but as you can see, a lot of that territory ends up outside of the map, whereas mid, it all the territory it covers is like in the map, because it's mid lane, right? Middle, it's the middle of the lane. So the middle turrets are the most powerful because they cover a lot of the jungle. And if we get the mid turret, then the enemy team kind of, like, it opens up this entire area for us to make plays where they have no safety. So we just gained all this territory, okay? Now, item-wise, I'm thinking of going for a death stance here, honestly. We're so fed, we're so powerful that even though death stance isn't the best use, the best, like, source of stats, it's actually quite useful in that... Because we're going to get kills no matter what, that reset is going to come into like play a lot, right? We're guaranteed to get kills in this game. And Death Stance is good if you're guaranteed to get kills. If you're not, then it's, you know, it kind of suffers a bit. Like, if, it, if you're not guaranteed to get kills, you, you're better off going for like a Sterax or something. But still. Oh, I'm just eating these up. Hm. I doubt I can get a hook on him. He's got a whole dash. Maybe she can make a play for me. Okay. That's a lot of abilities gone. Alright. Um, let's... Okay, you, you, mid. Look at this! Alright, we gotta make a play to... Capture. The dragon. Alright, get the dragon, get the dragon. Get the dragon. There we go. I'll push up bot. I'm just delegating tasks to them. Like, it would be a waste of time for me to get this. I'd rather just farm here. Good. I'll get the next wave as well. I seriously doubt Gargas is going to be able to do anything to us. What's up? With 
good. Let's get out of here, get our distance. If I had R, I could just stand and kill them, but... Let's just chill. Bam. Because we're so fed, we can just go for the more aggressive stats of Sterex. Sterex Gage. Let's just pick it up, get that ton of AD. It also gives us tenacity, which makes it really nice, right? Not a fan of the size increase, because um, Darius is a champion where the size of his abilities don't actually increase with his, like, the hitbox of his abilities don't change with his size. So if you do Q, it starts off from the center of your champion, regardless of Darius's size. So if you're large enough, you can be so large that people can't even get into your inner Q, because, like, you know, that's inside of a champion's model, for example. Same with your hook. Your hook, like, the model increases in size, it looks larger, it goes through enemies' models at a longer range, but the hook zone, the hitbox, is the same. You sweet. Ah, I messed that up pretty bad. Yeah, I should have just gone on the Soraka, or on the Sona or something, instantly. That Sona ult... Holding me down was basically what they needed to mess me up there. It just focus me with all their CC. Yeah, that sucked. Giving the gold to Cassio also sucked. The main thing about 1v whatever he has Darius is just CC. You gotta just manage how much CC you take. What I should have done here is either gone on the Cassio instantly to catch her, or gone towards them to kill someone, hopefully, right? Or even try to, like, just, like try to get away somehow, but I was kind of stuck in a terrible position, so there was no getting away was there. That's bad. In any case, it scarcely affects the outcome of this match. My only... The only thing I feel um, bad about is wasting my ghost. Buff is not fun. They actually got to pick on their own. I'll head down to the Baron immediately. Hmm. Yeah, he's also doing this. My destination is clear. Should be a kill. There we go. This does not concern me. That's, I should have hooked earlier, but she flashed out. Okay. Can maybe try to go for the, the main problem I'm having here, right, is just the enemy team is not really committing to any position. So it's kind of hard for me to, like, get him. I also messed my things up there, which sucked. Just uh, forced it. Oh, I, 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 I... Now I know why I don't see the chats. Force Baron, we kill them. Never retreat. The general idea is by doing Baron, we're basically getting the enemy team to fight us here. We're, we're forcing them to come to us, which is the problem I had, as I mentioned. Okay, they just gave us the Baron. Fair enough. Let's go bot. Siege, bot, and mid. U4, mid, I go bot. If something goes bad, I help. Strength above all. Um, that was the plan, but they're about to get a pick on this Gragas here. I have to go match the Garen. Oh, 
this is quite annoying. Not the best use of my time, honestly. Alright, we can delay this siege then. I should have pushed this out a bit so that he doesn't get another easy split going. The worst part about at like this current moment is that Garen actually one v ones everyone on my team, <laughs> so so nobody can actually match him in a side lane, which sucks. Okay, this is something, isn't it? I have to make a play, otherwise we're toast. Oh, the, the... That was bad. The slow meant I couldn't reach them. It's getting real annoying. Also, you know what was the most annoying part? Because <laughs> my teammates weren't near me. The durability I thought I had wasn't there because the whole breaker armor went off. Uh, what's the worst that can do? I'll go help him. What's the worst that can happen? Gang, just kill me, actually. Which is cray cray. Yeah, the MT is not scaling, regardless of whether they want to or not. So, dude, this is really taking four of them to kill this one guy. Because <laughs> we committed that hard and failed, I would be livid. Alright, we lose our sums there, which sucks. This team really needs our summoner spells to actually go on top of. It's also a waste of our Baron, by the way, which sucks. So this game is gonna go on go on for even longer. Yeah, dragging these boys along is proving to be difficult. I don't know, we kinda win team fights, but we just don't have team fights. The enemy team doesn't go for them. They just like float around, go for nothing. We have to go for sieges. But organize these guys for the siege. It's hard, but I'm going to go for it anyway. So I'm going to try to siege this top turret. And hope they can fight mid, basically, right? Or like, exist mid, rather, not fight. All I want them to do is exist for now. Okay, let's get this turret. Should be really easy. That's him dead. Okay. That's a pick for us, but... We're not really getting anything else done. Which is annoying. Okay. If I got the hook, I would have killed him too. I was the wrong person. That sucked. Okay. Same problem here. I'd say we just go for more, like, magic resist force of nature. Cassia did go for a Rylize, which throws a bit of a spanner in the works. So let's go for this force of nature. We just got an inhib, but we again died with our mid and jungle as well. If we had a full on team fight here with like a Lux ult, MF ult, we would have killed them all, by the way, but that's quite annoying. Dude, why'd they run all the way here? <laughs> this is such a goofy rank, man. Like, what is going on? Huh. Doesn't matter. Let's just use our flash to make a play next time. The thing that is mainly zoning me right now is the Casio and kind of the Sona. So I have to either avoid them or eliminate them instantly. The Ezreal is also just quite tough to get a hold of anyway. 
his insane range makes it so that he can just like damage from, me from such a long range, so... Yeah, I have to think of creative ways to kill him like instantly. If I can catch someone on the side and then flash on him and W ult, he should die instantly. I will not rest. Okay, let's keep pushing. The enemy team is occupied down here. They always group, so... I'm gonna push this and try to get the inhibitor. Looks like I'm dying here. Doesn't matter. He lives through that? That's surprising. No, he doesn't. Good. <sighs> Oh, we actually get someone, that's perfect, wow. Can keep going, can keep going. She's alone. <laughs> We're blocked off, let's go Baron, let's go Baron, let's go Baron. Go, Baron. Don't go bot. Dude, <laughs> what is this? All right, okay, me and MF, we'll just have to do. If the Gragas knew we were doing this, he could actually, like, ruin this whole play. But the fact that he doesn't is so, like, <laughs> convenient. We could just get away with this Baron. Uh, if we can just steer these people towards objectives, it's so, like, weird. Because the enemy team is not, like, built to react to that. What? They, they took Baron? After, after getting those kills? What? It's like, <laughs> you know, they're, they're, they're surprised, you know? Hmm. Yeah, he's not going there. I should really move on the Castillo and side lane. Let's just pick her up and put her down. My ult damage is roughly 230, plus the 30 from Conquer, 260, times 1.5, which gives us 390. 390 plus the 1 to 20, which is roughly 1,500 damage with 5 stack ult. Okay. Oh, there. Okay, they actually made picks of their own. Good. They're grouped, and they're actually making stuff happen. Ain't that a miracle? Well, let's get the inhib here. We can just end. End. Good. With the Garen top, it was just a matter of running up on them and killing them. This is a bit of a bloodbath. Not gonna be, you know, killing them around. It did take us, take us a bit of effort to finish the game off, but we finally did it. I'll let them have a bit of fun. If they want. <laughs> nice. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out. All right, this is the second match we're playing, and as you guys can see, there's a significant jump in MMR. We've gone from silver, I mean, high silver, as in silver one, to low silver. I mean, we've gone from <laughs> high silver, low gold, to high gold and slightly low platinum in one match. So, with a redone system, you climb through the ranks very quickly, MMR-wise, at the very least. We're up against Fiora Top. Let's get into it. Pretty hard skill-based matchup, which is why I actually love this matchup, right? I like playing it. Whoever wins is, like, the person who understands the matchup better, straight up. And I do get that as a bruiser player, I'm supposed to hit Fiora, but... Like, given that, like, given the amount of things that are wrong with top lane, at this point, I've learned to enjoy the skill-based matchups, even if they do have annoying components. So, yeah, Fiora Top. The thing that's great in this match for Darius is that the enemy team possesses a very low number of CC. All they have is just like Nami's bubble and Nami's wave. Aside from that, they have nothing, which means that we should be able to do a lot of popping off if we avoid those two abilities, right? 
So let's get into it. Number one thing to do, of course, is to win Lane and Fiora. I have an entire video on this matchup, how to beat Fiora as Darius. If you look it up, like, like the, the, the title of the video is Darius's worst matchups, and I have it in there with a bunch of other matchups, like a compilation of like a few of the worst matchups that just talk about how to win each one. So go look that up. I also talk about it in my matchup tier list, so that should be useful if you struggle with this specific matchup as the Darius. Now, um, she's running Grasp, which means that it would have been better for me to go for Durant's Shield, actually. d is a little greedy. Grasp means she's going to go for more Pork rather than All-Ins, which means that Durant's Shield comes into more handy. Whereas Conquer is like more all in me, right? Let's swap back, get the Vital to wear off. On a W, good. That's the bad part about the Grasp Fiora. She doesn't necessarily have to get um, Vitals, she just gets the Grasp buff with Qs. I have my there we go. That got messy, didn't it? The Repost moves, like, the, the Repost attack speed slow kind of messed up my thinking. Which is why I kind of froze up and looked like I had a stroke there. But I was really waiting for that one minion to die to get my level 2 to then RWQ combo her. Afterwards, I did the RWQ combo, hit her once, hit her last time. Noxie might flash out before she could hit me, get into this bush. And when you're in a bush, right, where she doesn't have vision, you have the advantage because you always start attacking first. She walked into the bush, I start my attack first and finished her off. And yeah, pretty free kill. I'll ping her summer spells, even though it won't really do anything, <laughs> for being honest. Um, it's an awfully quiet match, right? Only one ping. But I'm going to assume flames are about to be slapped down right about now. Yeah. Fighting here is a stupid idea. They have way too many minions, so it's best to just accept the crash in and farm. One by one by one. I hate that I have to give her the vital. That's what it is. Okay, we can fight if you want. I do not okay. tolerate cowardice. Nice. I had to play that very carefully, but when she used her repost. Her, like, last defensive thing against me was just dead, right? And also, when you're chasing people down, and they have to walk like this along the wall, you could just walk directly to where they want to go and cut them off, right? And it doesn't matter if your character has less move speed, because the distance you're traveling is shorter than the distance they're traveling, because remember, they're traveling in a curved line, and you have to just walk straight. So the distance you're traveling is shorter than theirs. Even if your champion is slower, you'll just get to where they want to get to and just, like, a crash into them. Kind of like how I did here, right? And for that point, I was just carefully comboing her so she couldn't um, Q into my right vital. If the Fiora was more aggressive here, actually, and she actually went for my vitals, that would have been close, right? If I missed my Q there, that would have been close. But she didn't... She, she was in full, like, you know, retreat mode, so she didn't challenge me, which gave me a very easy kill. I would just kill her. This Fiora just like, first off, she thought the minions were gonna save her, right? Which is what I used to go for the kill, right? The safety she thought she had with minions. The other thing, um, she kind of just is a bit too easy on her repost, right? This player specifically. So I'm basically just, I just baited her repost out with the RWQ combo and then hooked her to continue the all in and kill her off. I can't go for the vitals here, not the vitals, the turret platings here, because basically speaking, every time I'm killing her, I need to actually get a wave in too. So if I were to be here just white, like, just going away at the, just, English. If I were to be standing there, right, hitting the turret, then the Fiora would get here in time to actually fight me, okay? 
We don't want to overstay like that. I know I lose the turret plating here, but the other end of this is she gets here and then she actually fights me when I'm like a third of my health. Even if I play perfectly and beat her, right? It's a risk that's unnecessary. I don't need to take that risk because we're already winning, right? Why risk everything for an assist gold, essentially, you know? So I'm leaving it as is, recalling, then getting back when I'm more powerful. Lee Sin is here now, which is interesting. I wonder what he's going to be up to. You're waiting for me to hook. It's not going to happen. The thing is, I don't want to waste my ghost for this Fiora now. He actually hit that. Oh, never mind. That sucks. Here's what it is. We got the kill, right? And now that the crash isn't taking too much of our time and Fury is dead, we can now go for the turret platings, right? At no risk. One more thing to consider in going for turret platings is the location of the enemy team members, right? If they're close by, then you can bet that they're going to be top to try to kill you while doing the platings. So it's best to just leave if I see the jungle here, for example. Now, because we're running this game so hard, I'm going to go for Triforce, right? As mentioned before, they have a very low amount of CC, which means that when I have my summoner spells activated, I could just, just go all out on them and kill every single one of them, right? Given this, we kind of have a decent match where we're also fed, right? And we can just, we're looking to go all out, just one-shot everybody, which is a great time to go for Triforce, right? I'm going to pair that up with a Stax Gauge. And afterwards, I might go for Holebreaker, might, might not. We'll see how it goes, obviously, right? They will regret for now, let's kill the Fury again. Ooh, that ain't looking good. How did that Aurelia fumble that? That's a strike, by the way. When a champion has an ability that stops you from being able to ult kill them, right? And you have your hook up. What you can do is hit them until they're four stacks. Then hook, auto attack, and finish them up. Right? Hook, auto ult. That's exactly what I did here. And it just ended up in me completely one-shotting her before she could even repost. Right? You could do this to Kale. You can do this to Seth. You can do this to Mordekaiser. Every single champion that has a shield, invulnerability, any ability. Right? It's a very... Nice all-purpose technique. So the Karthus there, so I'm just gonna walk in here. Wait for him to... Do I want to... Gotta... Hold him. Yeah. Good. I saw him walk in here, so it was pretty free. Dude, what? Whatever. Yeah, if he just pressed R on her, he would have just kicked her to me and I would have killed her there instantly. But, um. Yeah. He actually saved her from me. If I stayed with the Lee there, like near the Lee, the Ariel would have just left, right? She wouldn't have fought me. So, my, me leaving is like baiting the Ariel to go in there and also kind of baiting the Lee, if I'm being honest. And then going back in with my extended ghost time now that I killed the Karthus as well. I just want to recall and get my Triforce ready. Triforce is a pretty huge damage power spike. Not quite in the mood to just sit around and collect idle gold. Idle riches. I have no use for idle riches. Cocking Garen quote. Sorry for the little interruption. Okay. We have our Triforce. We should be able to just pop people like, you know, just one-shot them like that. But the main issue with going Triforce is that your champion itself is not so durable. So we have to be on point with our Qs, and we have to be on point with avoiding damage. Okay, we gotta, we gotta go out of our way to avoid bad damage. Okay. 
Okay, Fiora's not here, so I'm gonna go for this turret. Triforce just lets us vaporize turrets. Go for a quick trade there. Okay, kind of want to challenge a 2v1 or 3v1. Let's wait for the bleed sex to go off. They walk in. I am not going to sit there and die to the Aurelia. <laughs> so, we leaving. We leaving. Let us hope that the Karthus doesn't go for an ultimate. Because, uh, wouldn't that be disastrous? Let's see here. Team-wise, I think Tabby's works out best for us. Most of her damage does not take damage, aside from the Karthus, but, you know. Um, he doesn't seem to be popping off too hard. Okay, Nami's AFK. Good. I mean, my team is also popping off in addition to me, right? Which means that the enemy team has no hope in this match. Now, Aurelia's top. Not gonna lie, I was meaning to go down there at some point, but she came to me. <laughs> right. Whoa there! Whoa! How does this Fiora kill anyone? <laughs> Color me surprised, man. Wow, okay. I'm impressed. Anyway. Let's just show this in to flush the Aurelia out. I don't want to fight her quite yet. She has Bork, which means that if she plays it properly, she might kill us. Now, she is gold, and I'm insanely smurfing hard, right? So, probably I'm just going to kill her anyway. But let's just treat it like we're on the same footing, and then she can actually kill me, right? Well, if she can, if she plays it right. But yeah, I want to basically flush her out first to see where she is, and then go for the fight once my ultimate is up. Because she's not here. She's going to go for this. Now, my ult is up, so we can go for the fight. Didn't dodge it, that was bad. But she did waste her flash there. Alright, let me just I I think I think I have to put her down there. I do not tolerate cowardice. Yeah. I didn't want to waste my ultimate there, but then she queued to the backline minions, so I was kind of forced to. Perfect. Well, if they had any hope in winning this game, I hope it's gone by now. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be real. We didn't play this too effectively, but we played it good enough to kill them all, right? You guys could see the weakness of Triforce there in that they actually got really close to killing us. And if they had done that 3v1 at once, like if the Iron was alive as if you were going on to me here, they would just straight up killed me, okay? But fortunately, we had our sums, we were able to split them apart and go for like a 1v1 first and then the 2v1 later. And here I went for the hook auto W to get the 5 stacks on the Fiora. She's gonna think I'm gonna ult her after that hook, right? But no, I switched to the Karthus, one shot him. I should have landed my ult on the Karthus if I did, I'd rather just be able to ult the Fiora right after that and kill her too. I messed that up, but um, we did just have to dance a bit and then ult kill the Fiora as well at the end, so. Functionally, it didn't change much. Except the cleanliness of the play. I mean, it did change something in that we now have a wasted flash, right? I wouldn't have to use flash if I just landed my ult of the cards there. Should go for one more auto attack. I really underestimated her move speed there. Oh, she blocked both. gonna go for me she just wasted her ultimate okay whatever fair enough i'm just gonna chill back here we got our ultimate out for no reason i didn't mess up my hook there like twice which sucks but we got some cooldowns i'm just gonna allow red buff to heal me up though they surrendered i'll see boys the next one peace out all right we're playing our next match as you guys can see we have now moved 
kind of up a bit. We had platinums in the last match, now we have purely golds, but it's like all high gold. Gold ones, gold twos, and a single gold three in addition to us, of course. So I feel like if we win this one, the next one, we should be mostly in plat. Obviously, it could go differently, right? The way your MR changes somewhat depends on who you're up against, but still it moves at a very fast pace with the... Uh, like, they changed the rank system like months and months and months ago. It's been like this for a while and you know, people still don't believe me when I tell them. You go up in MMR very quickly on new accounts. So, yeah, let's get into it. Um, we're up against Mundo Top, which should be relatively easy. I have no clue why a lot of people struggle with this matchup. But some people tell me that it's like their 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 ban. They go out of their to they go out of their way to ban Mundo. But this is very easy for Darius. You just have to make sure to not eat free hatchets. That's literally the only part of the matchup that's difficult, right? If you eat free hatchets, then you have problems. But if you're just good at dodging them, or if you just stand behind your minions, that's basically it, right? Just stand behind your minions, and every time Mundo walks up to CS or whatever. You walk in, RWQ, whatever, and you just ghost run him down, okay? That's as simple as the matchup gets. I'm going to show you guys how to do it right here. Once we get to the laning portion of this match. But for now, we're kind of just chilling in the river. Don't fight. No fighting. Fights immediately. Um, I have a relatively nice team here. I'm not a big fan of the Talon jungle. I feel like it's like... Quite a cheesy pick for the jungle role. A little inconsistent too. But if he gets fed, he can get a lot of work done. Right? I feel like instead of talent, you could just go Kane, right? Yeah, sure, your early is a bit worse, but you scale infinitely better. <sighs> Coffee is my lifeblood in the mornings here. You want for Ruby Crystal? All right. He'll have a bit more meat to chop through, but a bit less sustain. Hmm. We need to swap. Okay, here he is. First things first, behind the minions. We don't want to give him any angle to land a hatchet on us. Second thing, the second he walks up to the minions for a melee, then we go for it, like hits on him, right? Obviously missed that Q. See, now this is gonna die, so I retreat back to these minions, right? Not gonna be here so that he can't weasel in a hatchet through here. Good, these guys are coming up. Gives me space to walk up and queue those two minions. I messed that up. him and walk behind the minion to not get hit by his hatchet. It's basically just managing how much he, you know, hatchets, right? It's literally all he does. That's his entire kit. If you can play around it, then you have him beat. That was a bit of a weird aggro path. The natural state of this lane should just be the Mundo staying as far away from you as possible. And just trying to farm with his Qs. Right, because then you can't really get on top of him because he's really far away, but that also means he's not getting every single CS because he has like a forcing and cooldown on his hatchet. Got that Q in. Yeah, kind of took that one. Good. Let's ward up here in case the lead gets in. I'm going to try to see if I can use my ghost to kill as far as here. That's the thing with mid lane. In that immobile champions, when they pushed up, they basically have... Oh, I think he sees me. Yeah, he knows I'm here. Whew. That was perfectly done. Good job with early on Soul to actually follow up on that. Because I definitely needed him to follow up there. I would have probably 1v3 killed the two of them by myself, but I definitely would have died towards the end there. Like, oh, they actually have no Ignite. I would have killed all three of them. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. That's pretty good. Um, Because it's Mundo, we're going for an execution to Calling, right? Get that Ant Heal in so we can kill him more easily, level 6. 
it's obviously not necessary right now because of how hard we're winning due to us just taking those two kills. But um, it's good to just have it in your back pocket in case things go wrong, right? Like, these counter items are quite good to have around. Now, um, because the forest was pushed up, it was very easy for me to pick that gank. And because I had prior, I could just walk like this and take it. That prior is, that, that gank is extra good because I had my wave trap in where it didn't. So I get all this XP. And he also can't like stay and shove them, so he misses out on a lot of um, this. So that's good. Can I get that? Get this side. Perfect, we got them all. Let's play really slow now. He did just flash there as well. So if we catch him melee range, we should be able to kill him. If he comes melee range, which I seriously doubt he will. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, our ball lane's getting farmed. I'm gonna have to go for a Merc Treads then. They have way too much CC. Merc Treads. Strybreaker, Sterax. I have to tank that, unfortunately. Embrace the flames of war. Dodged. Wait for the bleed stacks and just go kill him. One go. Oh, never mind. He just got level six. He wasn't level six. Actually, I could have just killed him there by dive. RWQ auto ult would have just put him down there. But yeah, his ultimate doesn't just heal him. It gives him just straight up like max health. So anti heal can't do anything there. Dude, how is this try hard? <laughs> yeah, he just fixed the wave for him. <laughs> reported, reported, vine boom, vine boom. <laughs> Dude. Oof. Homie has no mercy with them reports. That lance on me? Sure. I know the Lee's gonna be here. Kinda accepting the 2v1. This will be your grave. Good. Gonna wait for the lane to get into a neutral position again. And then just kill him. First I gotta make sure it doesn't recall though. That way for our hook to come back up. Then once he queues, we're gonna ghost on him. Or if he just walks into our range like this. Or at least around here. That's him dead. Let's kill the Lee as well. Yeah, it took me a while of just stuttering there. Because <laughs> they were both hooked by my hook and they were inside of each other. Oof. I gotta leave. I have no doubt that I'd kill him here if I fought him, but it's too risky, man. Like, it's way too risky. And I don't think he's just, he doesn't even freeze it, right? <laughs> like, the only bad thing would have been him freezing this, but he didn't even do that, so I think we're in the clear. Bam, bam. They go for this. Let's go try Triforce, honestly, you know? And pop him. This was a bit of a greedy choice, if I'm being honest. Stradbreaker is the way more safe option. 
but their top side is very much behind, and I'm looking to pop these two like balloons. So yeah. Windows missing. Good. Let's get us some turf ladings then. Oh. So they want to box or not? How do you lose this passive? Did he tank the entire Herald? <laughs> Probably, right? Hmm. You're supposed to dodge the big attacks, bro. I'm gonna shove this in. While his passive is down to get like a good hook in. Off of which I could just combo him and kill him in one go. Never mind. The cooldown of it is long enough to the point where my hook is not enough. The scale the level, doesn't it? Okay. Not looking good here. Let's just try to go kill the Varus. He doesn't have a bounty, so... I won't be happy if I have to waste my flash for this, but I might have to. Looks like he got away. Thing is, if I keep going here, I have to face their entire bot side. And while I might come out on top, I'm definitely gonna die. Right? Like, I kill two, three people, but I will die. Given that a lot of them have, like, high death counts, it's not worth it for, for our team for me to die. Like, I have to live. I have to just scale up and be as powerful as I can be. So, I'm willing to give up the turret there. The, 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 the dragon there, but also the turret. <laughs> yeah, Talon should not have even challenged that. But he did, and he paid the price. Got a proxy now. Fair enough. We get his sums, we get his ult out. This also gives us some space to recall, get a Triforce out. Can also get the Merc with it. The world will Good. Now let's go for Sterax here. Sterax Gage. Walk back up. Their team is now coming topside, which is good. Oh, they didn't take the dragon, actually. Wow, okay. <laughs> That's weird. I could try something with my flash. But it might be a bit too risky without Ghost. Because they do have a lot of ways to just slow me down. Might be the safest to just wait for my flash first. Wait for my Ghost first. Yeah. Let's shove this in first. I get 11 out of this. Unlikely. Just barely, no? Nice. Let's see here. If I can maybe get like a, a flank going, that could work out well. But the main issue is Varus has such high range, he doesn't actually have to stay in line. Oh, he's 300 bounty. Oh, I'll just flash on him here. We got his ult, we got his flash, we got everything. I guess Aurelion has some sense to go farm top now. What are you doing? Dude, we can't take this. They're all alive. Okay, let's build towards this. 
We could go for this, right? But, like, we're definitely gonna have to fight, like, an uphill battle here, which I don't want, right? Given that I don't have my ult, I don't have my sums, I'll be a sitting duck, essentially. I'd honestly prefer it if the Kai'Sa went mid, so I could get this turret for free. He's gonna fight here, though. Melting. Ice is just dead down there. Never mind, she's actually ghosting. Or she was, rather. She actually got him. Wow. Get down there. Should have my ghost in time. Seriously. Let's go. Not the best for me to die there, but at least the bounty goes to Zyra. Okay. You. Listen to my instructions. There we go. Good. I will overthrow death itself if I have to. Whatever. I'm not gonna be insulting there. That was a bit of an insane flash by the Kai'Sa. But it is what it is. We get a turn. With the... Uh, Ferris dead, I should be able to get the second turret as well. Unless the Seraphine gets here. She does, actually. She's got so much health. Can I get some here? How about my sums? Okay. Let's get a turret then. Should be able to catch this wave and do this like in five seconds or so. Ooh, this ain't looking good. Good support. She gave me some covering fry, which I could use to escape. Perfect. Um, let's recall. Be ready for the dragon fight. Good. Let's get some magic resist. Varus. I know he's like died seven times, but if he ults and then he arrows me, it's gonna take like like seventy percent of my health off. Just like AP Varus does like an unfair amount of damage. Straight up, so have to prepare for that. I'm thinking let's just go for like um, a force of nature third item, and then we can see if we need armor. If not, we can maybe go for some more aggressive stuff. Okay. They surrender over the dragon. That's fine. I'll just see here like a good dark, good guard dog. That got me too. That sucks. Let's get the turret. 
The team wasn't in range to follow up with that flash hook, even though we got two of them, but it's fine. We can use the tempo to get this turret, which is good. That's fine. I'll die for that. One death for two kills, plus a turret, plus a teleport. So that's very well worth it. Get this too. One of you recall. Never mind, never mind. Uh, the Seraphine is recalling. Yo. Dude, where are you guys going? Yeah, the Zerath should just stay to help. It's fine though. Okay. Bam, bam. Looking good. Leave. Don't fight. Okay, I think they're fine, they're fine, they're fine, they're fine. Sleep. Leave. Good. I'll walk in here in case he follows, but he's probably not... Oh, he's just chasing. Alright, should be a free kill. He just got surrounded. Lee, dead, Baron. Now. I said, can we call? Oh, what is this? Okay, that was not good. We gotta get in here. That's one. That's two. That's three. Good. Let's see where the lead is. Gotta find him. There he is. I'll try to just fight him. To keep him from going to the Baron. Fight me. Okay. Alright, that was good. I can leave. Um, recall, 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 recall. Don't overstay. Let him die. Alright. Dude. They can go on you! Dude, I told you! Oh my god. Alright, she actually got away somehow, that's good. Okay. Um, recall, shop, you siege, mid, and, what, what's the end on the German keyboard? There you go. Let me see if I can find a pick or two. Good. I can't really go up without... Okay, they're applying pressure mid now, now I can go up. Alright. Peel turrets off. I get the inhib here for free. While they fight. Good. This one's gonna be close. Derek's saving me from the turret, baby. I kinda have to do that to not lose tempo. End. Let's get out of here. Try to leave, 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 try to leave. Yep. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Yep, let's, let's just leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him. Leave it, leave it! Alright, I'll try to stay near here. 
Good, 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 good. Perfect. All right, we got everybody out except the Aurelian, which is good. Good. We just gotta win one fight, and and we can force end. Let's just go with minions, six supers per wave. Come on, man. That was bad. We gotta do some Duncan here with our sums. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I have no time to wait for your big ults, bro! Ah. Why did my Q not deal any damage? Whatever. And... <sighs> well, that's it for this match, I hope. Hit the turret, hit the turret. Don't waste time, don't waste... Okay, Talon's ending, good. Yeah, it took me a lot of cow wrestling to get these guys into, um, cow wrangling, rather, to get these guys to actually end the game, but <laughs> through our leadership, we won. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out. All right, we're back with some more Darius gameplay. Now, this match I didn't record in the loading screen because I was off of my desk, but basically speaking, the rank is high gold and platinum, so we have... Roughly three platinum players in this lobby, one of them is even platinum two, and the rest are just gold in terms of gold two, gold one. So yeah, we're moving up in the MMR world, so to speak. And we're up against Karma Top or Malphite Top, I'm not too sure which we're up against specifically. But whoever we're up against, we're up against Karma. Whoever we're up against will just dominate them. So yeah, up against Karma. I'm going for a sorcery still because we are looking to dominate the lane, right? But because it's a range matchup, we have to go for Doran's shield. The way you play range matchups is quite simple, okay? Consider your HP a resource, right? When you go for a CC that is within the range of a ranged top laner, you are trading your HP for gold that you get from the minions, okay? So you have to evaluate whether the HP you're trading for that minion is actually worth it. And in most cases, it kind of isn't, right? Especially if you're taking a full combo for that minion, right? If you take one auto attack, it's fine. It does whatever. You can just D shield heal it up. But if you're taking like a, an ability, an auto attack, two auto attacks, then it sucks. So, depends on the champion and etc., right? But you gotta evaluate stuff like that. So, I can get these minions without getting damaged by her, right? But if I walk up to get these minions, she's gonna auto attack me. So, I'm not going to. I have an imaginary circle around her, kind of like this auto attack range of her area of influence. And I stay out of it, right? I got into it accidentally there and took an auto attack. I'm going to go in there for a Q. Not good to get hit that by that. Yep. Thought I'd get a level 2 there so I could kill her, but that was bad. All fine. I'm going to chill and try not to get damaged. I didn't get that. That sucks. The general idea is we got to wait for a level 3, because that's when Darius gets all he needs to kill ranged top laners. But we got to conserve HP until that moment, right? Okay, she took turret shots, so I actually have the advantage here. Okay, that's her ghost. I mean, that's her exhaust and her flash gone. So next time we hook her, we should be able to get her with our flash. Oh, that sucks. Need my hook to come back up here. I'm just gonna stick to her. Our W. One more. She's dead. Good. The thing I do there, by the way, to get the hook every time, is I basically walk in range for her to tether me, okay? For her to go for that route. 
And then what I do is I walk back. And to finish the route, she has to stay in a certain range. So the car, so the karma walks towards you. And then I do the switcheroo and walk right back at her to basically bait her into walking into my hook range. Okay. Now it's not it's not really a trick that's going to work all the time, but it works relatively often enough. Okay. Especially if you want to go for like the first kill in like a lane or something. Hmm. Because of this lane, I might actually go for Swifties. I know it's a super cheesy option. But Karma is quite tough to snowball on, and I need the Moosey to just, just just farm kills of her. And the thing is, this isn't an easy team to pick boots for because Merc Sheds is kind of useless due to the fact that their CC is all like displacements, right? The Syndra is a displacement, the Malphite is a knockup, which is a type of a displacement, right? So Tennessee doesn't do anything against displacements, and they have a bunch of slows. So uh, I'd say Swifties is a bit better. I W just as she's about to get out of my range. I step in range here. I'm not ordering her here, so she's actually in range for my RWQ. And the Hecarim swoops in to steal the kill. Wonderful. I mean, it's fine, I guess, because I would have had to take way more turret shots, and I would have, like, 100 health left after I killed her. But, um, still... A little annoyed by that. Let's leave then. All right. So long as Karma doesn't get this mini this mini wave, we should be ahead in XP. But because we have to share so many XP with the Hecarim, there is a world where we're actually even in XP despite me having such a huge lead over her, like two kills, right? That's what happens when you share XP with a jungler. I should get to the next level in like 3-4 minions here. So let's see when she gets to the level. War separates men from kings. Okay. Predators come prey. Oh, we actually still have a decent lead on her. Because they have Swifties, we can just walk up on her. Keep walking. Auto Q. There we go. This is just a life hack against these kinds of matchups. Vladimir, like, is a good example of where this would work. Like anything that's like just has a bunch of slows that annoys you, they gotta walk up on. Victor. It kinda works against Cassiopeia if you're good at dodging. If you're not, just don't even bother. Kind of bad that it took us such a while to crash this wave in. This means that Karma isn't going to miss too much of this. She just got back in lane, actually. But it is what it is. Good. Let's go for the next. The move speed is a little useful here. We're obviously going to go for a Stride Breaker here to get the extra move speed. We are going for a move speed focus build here. Going to go for Stride Breaker first. Then I'll go for Hole Breaker. What is she doing? Is she shoving it? Okay. She will be able to do it fast enough for me to not get here. Now, our ghost is back up, and she, her her flash is going to be back up in like a minute or so after our ghost came back up. So I, I think we have like a 50-40 seconds to go for a kill with our ghost before she can flash again. Let's walk first. Make sure we're in position to do our entire combo. Not wasting my ultimate there because it was just secured without it. Let's get that turret plating. Relatively easy to get this one. It's a bit of a risky technique. Or not technique, tactic here, but maybe we go for a, a silly Billy proxy. Is if I just kill the Karma again and again and again, she just gives me less and less gold. So it's best to just go for the kill that still gives us gold. I knew that Kindred would be 
top side because her mark was here. I was also planning on killing both of them, but the one is fine. I also was expecting her to level 6, so it's like she would ult keeping me alive, which gives me more time to just stack both of them up and kill them to one. But whatever, right? Yo. Just kill her. Don't waste R. Use it to go on her after she roots. <laughs> We're coaching here. <laughs> we're, we're we're straight up coaching him here. <laughs> nice. If someone comes, I'll be there. Got it. Now the main reason I don't think someone will be there because we're just like farming between the turrets, which is like absorbing a lot of pressure, right? Oh, this time it didn't work. For my blue stacks, no, looks so. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Summon it. Summon the Herald. There we go. I was looking for him in the scoreboard <laughs> to ping it. There we go. Nice. Don't really need to hit it anymore. It's just going to do it on its own. Let's get that too. No one's here to help defend. I'll just ghost out. I'm gonna shadow the heck room here. In case he gets caught. <laughs> she actually jumped over, we would have just insta killed her. <laughs> Alright, cool. Got a strap right here now. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ult her towards me, ult her towards me. Why didn't he fear her towards me? Yeah, if, she, if he fears her, then I hook her instantly out of the fear, so she can't actually kill me. RWQ, auto, he's hitting her the whole time too, and then we just insta kill her. They can flash on the karma and kill her too. That's fine though, doesn't matter. Let's get our hole breaker now. Moose speed setup, as I mentioned. Let's go for the phage first, it's better. Out to pasture. Uh, not the best ultimate, but... It'll do. Let's uh, get this done. Throw in the turret. We should be able to kill it like, like by just brute forcing it. Do the low it is. So as long as I push a good wave in, the turret is ours. Bowling's using really well, like really well. He hasn't gotten a single wave minion. Yes. Oh, that's because he's a good... <laughs> what? <laughs> You'd think of Malphi, given that he's like a melee champion, would go for the. The one that executes the minion, but nah. Spell Thieves and Malphite. Ain't that funny. Well, something we gotta be careful about. That's a lot of gold to get into our pocket. Nice. Cinder's here. I don't want to mess around too much with the Cinder specifically, because Cinder's effective range is way higher than ours, and... Her stun isn't one that we can kind of outplay with skill. We're kind of forced to tank it, essentially. Unless we flash it, but even then, it's not very clear the exact hitbox of the stun. So... <laughs> I personally just don't know where do I flash to dodge it, you know? Okay, there's the Lucian up here. Pretty sure I just straight kill if I get into melee. Here. I can catch one. 
Uh, two, three, one's not that good. Let's back off. So the kindred there, so I have to just beeline out of here. Thought she'd be at the dragon, right? To try to take it, but nope. Nope, nope, nope. Can I maybe... I've got to separate them somehow. Karma's here too, let's get out of here. I can't take the 4v1, it's just impossible. To win. But, um... They got the, the dragon at least. Heck, I'm chat banned, by the way. Are they, are they part of the same team? Are they are they are they a semi professional team? Now they know we're coming. I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. <laughs> that exact phrase. I knew it was coming. Alright. Let's not tempt the wrath of an entire team. And start split pushing bot. I'll sell this for a Hullbreaker. Generally speaking, you should be selling your starting items if there's like a big impactful thing you gotta buy with that gold. So if you're gonna buy like a full on item and you need that gold, it's okay to sell your starting item, right? But there's a bit of a hierarchy in that you can deep, like, you know, these basic items, right? Or like just these ones, right? You can sell D shield for them, but you can't sell D blade for them, right? If all you're gonna get is a basic component like that, it's way better to just like um, sell D shield for because because D shield is not a good source of stats, right? Whereas D blade is a very efficient source of stats. So if you're gonna get those components and you have D blade, don't sell a D blade and just you know keep the D blade. But if you have D shield, then you can sell it and get the um, component. He sacrificed himself. I wanted to flash on the Syndra, but they're all so weak that it just, just didn't seem worth it for me. <laughs> okay, let's get this turret here. Or not. I'm not a savior. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Okay, get on, get on. I'm just gonna leave the thresh to die. Sorry, pal, but you know how this goes. Okay, he's actually out. Good. Let's go for a um, Sterex here, I guess. I mean, we don't really need to build anything because we're winning so hard. The AM team is still, straight up just can't do anything to us. Mm, they'll go for DMP and just run them up, killing everyone. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. We're going for a move speed max build, I guess. So <laughs> let's just get the DMP and start zooming. Our damage will be a bit weak, but I think we're fed enough to the point where we don't really need the extra damage. We just one shot people anyway. Oh, this one's a bit rough. That's flash gone. Let's get back top. Get the wave. I was a bit impatient there, honestly. Should just um, waited. I'm pretty sure they saw me, but I'm not. I don't know actually. Good. Let's get the shove in. Two waves in. Well, we're, we're 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 dropping frags down mid lane. That ain't good. Here. That, let's get this. She got it. We got her, but still not good to um, lose objectives like that to uh, Tina's behind. 
I don't have ghosts soon, so I should be able to just kill the illusion on a turret. As long as they're distracted up here, we're fine. Okay, this time I'm gonna just ghost at him. I mean, I'm gonna use my ultimate. That's a sum's gone. Let's get the turret now. Bam, bam. Ah, almost. That turret shot put me down there. I should have finished the turret. I should definitely finish the turret. Ooh, how are they getting things? Dude, three of them were here. It was just a Karma and Sinja out here. Whatever. Does not matter. Let's go for our Force of Nature, I suppose. Or I, I think we gotta go Sterex here. Get some more damage in. We, we should have enough Moosby for everything right now, this way. Like, that turret messed me up. If I kill that turret, I would kill that Malphite too there. Should have stuck it, even though the Kindred came in. Right. And the thing is, I one shot her so quickly that she definitely ults her. Ults there, like, prematurely. After which I can just basically, um, body her. Let's run up top again. If the Lucian is sieging this turret, I don't think he can even, like, exist. I should just be able to chase him down with DMP. He's recalling. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Thought maybe I could reach if he made like a mistake or something, but no. We could honestly just brute force the Baron if you want. Oh, I got him. Let's go get the rest. Good. Baron, Baron, Baron. Sucked. Ugh. She just got messed up like that. Yeah. Sinja is definitely a threat right now, which I was not honestly expecting. I thought we'd just be able to ignore her there. I'd have to take her out as well as the Kindred to go for the Baron. Fair enough. Don't tell me you're gonna. Do something silly like I don't know, overstay. Good. I think it's time we just like. I feel like I have to just brute force this game through. I don't really rely on my homies here, so I have to just do it the brute force Murphy way. Oh, just picking endless fights and winning them through just being a fed Darius. I think Asterix would be a bit important here, though, for that. Okay, they're coming at me now. Let's just try to waste their time. them here. I get her, I get her, girl. What is this minion block? I do not care. That yeah, sucks. I hate that I have to waste my 
ghosts there, but it is what it is, no other way. Comes up, Syndra. Okay. I'm gonna leave. They're back up. Don't risk it. Okay. Let's run here to see if I can get a flank on the Syndra. She's kind of stuck. Flank. I'll be there. Kill the rest. She's dead. Alright. I'll go for the mid turret. I like the way you die. Get these heals. Get the wave, get the turret. They can do whatever they want. Oh, who can even take this? Probably not during the lifetime of these. Ranged. Don't want to take damage here. Not unnecessary damage, anyway. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna... They are, alright. Fair enough. Going many minutes on the way. Let's get the crab, then maybe the chickens, which after which we share our distance. We have the just chance. Ghost is up soon. Should be able to run up on them and kill them all. Not gonna lie, this move speed setup is so huge when you're trying to 1v9. Like if you're fed, like like before the fed option was Triforce, but I kinda like this more, if I'm being real. Like if I'm if I'm fed and I want a 1v9, um Stratebreaker, Hullbreaker into the rest of my items. I like this combo more now than the Triforce combo when I'm trying to 1v9, because I don't know. Like the move speed allows you to take so many fights without needing your summoner spells that you just get to force fights over and over again. You're not limited by your summoner spells, which you are when you're playing Triforce. So. Send. Where's it now? Kindred Syndra. Yeah, I should be able to just body him. <coughs> Why they let me do this? Fair enough. I messed it up. <laughs> Man. All right, well. <laughs> oh, he he, he 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 thought he was that guy. Anyway, let's see what's the next one. Peace out. Quite a taxing game, honestly.
on my back. All right, this is the fifth match we're playing, and we're basically completely in platinum, as you guys can see, right? All it took was four wins in a row, and now we're in platinum elo, and I feel like by the end of this video, which is going to be like 9-10 matches, we should be maybe not snuggly in diamond elo, but we should have at least one or two diamonds in our matches, right? Like a regular diamond, because there are moments where you get diamonds in your matches, but it's like some guy who's down on his luck, who has like terrible MMR, but... You know, this case, I want to be a little different. Now, Udyr has Ghost Ignite, which means that he's going to go for a lot of cheese, right? His auto attack damage is going to be very devastating, so we have to watch out for that, right? Do some kiting where we can. Hmm. Yeah, the lane is going to be a bit tough to win, definitely. This is kind of like a cheese setup that's hard to beat. Udyr's auto attack damage is so crazy, when, especially when, like, I don't know, like, his meter system, which I should honestly read up on. <laughs> I got I kinda don't read the abilities of new champions because I'm so sick of the game, but um sick of the new champions adding getting added to the game, right? <laughs> like I just hate them all. So um I don't really know exactly what every single empowered ability does, but I do know for a fact that when he uses empowered thing on his auto attack buff thing, it becomes really strong. So we definitely don't want to get into the range of that. But I wanna mess with that. Want to do our best to kite him and go for shortest trades, okay? So level 1, 2, we're chilling, and level 3, once we get our hook and our W, then we can go for a kill. Good, let's get back up top. What's he running? He's likely waiting for me to walk up. There he is. Didn't hit on him. Alright. Gotta walk back. Don't get level 2 here. Good trade there. I thought I have to waste me a flash there, but it is what it is. I thought I could maybe like chase up to him. He just has more move speed than us. By default, he's on 350 and we're 343. Well, we're 340, but uh, celerity gives us the three. Let's wait for the next wave then. I thought we could crash this in quickly, but we can't, so I'll wait for this wave to come in and then crash that too. Well, that sells it. We got two stacks on him in a good trade, waited for our abilities, then went back in to finish him off there. Which landed us a very easy kill. Let's see if I can poke him here. Perfect. Pretty sure he dies here. Oh, he just barely dies. All right. Yeah, that ignite really messed us up. But it's fine. We almost killed them. The slows from the red buff and etc. Just made it so hard for me to move there. Bleh. In any case, let's get back in lane. I might go for the uh, move speed setup with Strybreaker again, with Swifty Stride into Hellbreaker. Like, I'm loving that setup. It's it's so cool. Like, it's so good, I mean. It's also cool, but still. So, maybe I'll go for a Swifties and then into Stride here. But I kind of need meat against Udyr, right? This is a very battle-y lane. So I have to have the stats I need to battle and win battles. Also, health is great, since we're getting ganked, right? This won't be the last we've seen of Kane. I can, I'm almost certain, so the extra health will let us survive against him longer and then put him down. If he comes top. If he doesn't, then, you know. <laughs> That's gonna happen. All right, with a wave here, we can actually go for a pretty decent freeze. It won't really last too long because the position is pretty bad. The Mews will just walk around and get into the turret range. 
because that's what minions minions do now. Well, that's what they always do. But hmm. as long as we keep this, like, like if we keep this for a while, that's a while that he won't be farming it, and he's mid now, so let's just shove. Yeah, I don't think Annie's happy with him taking his farm like that. Alright, I'm gonna stay in this trap brush. Or at the very least, ward it. He actually walked in here. Okay, can I get in here? Yes, I can. That was devastating. Bad death for him, because he missed out on an entire cannon wave. Perfect. Let's pick up those Swifties, eh? I feel like I'm going to need more move speed as this game goes on. Kane's also nowhere in sight to help. Which leaves this Udyr just... You know, defenseless. Perfect. Let's just body him a, a bit further, get the turret, and then once we get Holebreaker, we can spread out. But for now, as a top laner, we're away from the team, so we can't really do much to get the dragon, for example. We could just run down there and fight with them, right? But earlier on, you really don't want to be wasting too much time around the map like that. You just can't roam, right? Because if you do, I doubt he's going to be strong enough to kill us after we roam. But it's just not gold I want him having. I want to basically stress him out so much and, like, you know, make him as likely to AFK as possible, essentially. Which he, I think, has. He's not here. Good. Let's proxy. Seal the deal. Oh, he's actually in here. He was taking Kane's farm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's just go for auto BQs. Here. I messed that up. This is Ghost Gone. I'll take it. King's coming up good. I get everyone. I don't like this kind of trash talk. I think it's extremely rude. Especially when you're not the one who's, you know, <laughs> carrying that hard. If you ever notice, the type of people who actually talk to the enemy team, like the type of people who trash talk, are not the people who are like the ones doing the carrying, right? The top players usually don't trash talk. And when they do, they're just incredibly immature, right? But I don't know. A 0-5 inter is more likely to talk than a 5-0 guy who's carrying him. I've tolerated gods and kings I thought I could I thought I got out of third aggro there. Dude, I thought I got a third aggro there. Ugh, I messed it up. I thought I walked in and dropped the turret aggro, but then it was... I didn't even realize that I still had it. I misplayed that so badly, man. I mean, we give the Udyr some gold, which isn't the worst thing in the world, right? It's the Udyr, we'll still kill him, but still... I thought I dropped it. Afterwards, it I would have just been able to kill him without even flashing there, right? Could cube, W, ult, and then just walk out. So it was a big mistake for me. All right, I kind of underestimated my speed. I, I think I overestimated my speed. Is what it is, Let's get back up top. Continue the operation. What is this even? Hmm. Is he going for like a shield bow or something? Yeah, whatever. Okay, we have really good one combos here with Stripebreaker. A 
Like that took half his health. So that's really powerful. No, he has to recall or he dies. Get the turret. Good. I'm not spamming my W on this turret because I don't want to lose the mana. <clears throat> you chose the wrong side. I can serve as much as I can for the upcoming fight. That should be it for him. Good. Don't turn your back Let's leave guys this. I could stay here and kill a turret, but one, the cane's gonna be running up here, and two, having the turret up here means that Udyar has to walk up all the way to this lane and I can kill him again. And also, um, yeah, just means that, like it's not the point at which the plates fall off, so I can afford to just force him to come all the way up here so I can keep farming him essentially. Bit of a ruthless tactic, but you know, you gotta be ruthless, baby. And a conflict is within our grasp. All we have to do is take it. Yeah, their entire team's getting bodied. These guys are getting bodied low key, but this guy's getting bodied high key. So oh, he's just roaming. Perfect. Perfect. Um well not perfect for us, because we want him to come up top. Now him roaming is the best choice for him, right? He he wants to roam here. Because he can't beat me, he can't stop me. And I kill him on the turret. So the best choice for Udi right now is to just roam around and help his team out. That's the best he can do. It's a good choice for him, right? Just that, you know, now there's no one standing in my way. Not that there was ever. Hmm. His flash cancelled my W. It sucks. I should be able to kill my ghost. I'll have my ultimate now. That was really nice. Wow. He actually landed that stun. Nice. I wouldn't say I'm impressed, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Now they have to 3 1 me here, no? I'm not gonna go for the wave because the turret is the priority here. It's gonna do them at the same time. <laughs> Good. Let's get our level 11 here in case they decide to 3 1 us. Don't think they're going to, though. Just a, a hunch. <laughs> okay. Let's get our hole breaker here. Instead of, DMP, instead of DMP, I'm gonna go for Sterax. Get that beef. Afterwards, I'm probably gonna see if I could just kick everyone out of topside. I'll push the wave in and then I'll bully mid lane out. Just to basically force their team to hang around here. Get the mid turret as well, you know. Step number one is just. Okay, I'll get this first. Udu is probably just gonna run away from me the second he sees me. The bleed will kill it. Now we're up top here. Get the shove in. Let's get the next wave as well. There we go. <laughs> How do you type that? <laughs> oh. Good. Let's go into the jungle, mess with the cane. A feast for the wolves. Let's get the red buff. Okay. 
They're fighting down there, so let's either flank or get the mid turret. Tick, tick, tick. Let's get the mid turret. I'm kind of... Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna say I was. Sh I'm shocked they don't have a checkered bindings, but I just saw they have them. What I hunger for is war. I may be gone. Let's go, Sterex. Get our pickaxe in, get our phage in. As I mentioned in the match before this, right? We could sell the D-Blade to put the Ruby Crystal in, but Ruby Crystal is just a basic stat item. And Dora's Blade is made in a way where the 450 you pay for it gives you a lot of stats for the gold, right? More than these. Like 350 is just 1080, 400 is 150 HP, but you get like a mix of all that and Omnivan, which is also a very valuable stat, right? So, like, Dora's Blade is fine to keep, take the place of one of these items. Like, right now, I'm just going to keep it, right? I'm just going to keep it in my inventory instead of the Rube Crystal. I'd say it's time to flex some muscle and put this game to bed. Fight me. The one. Witness the end of an empire. Okay, wow, that was a lot of damage. That was all from the Udir. How does he do that much? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. I don't think those are the right numbers. He did way more than that there. Wow. That's what I was talking about, actually. Like, in the way beginning. Like, he just does so much damage out of nowhere. How behind is he? And he does that much? Are you serious? Ugh, that's disgusting. But also, it's bad because I tanked the Tibbers, right? I should have just, like, the second they came up here, should have just ran up to try to get the cane first. Or I should just ran under turret to kill the Udyr first. That could have worked too. He's so squishy, right? Yeah, my target selection was a bit off. Won't be next time. But I don't think there will be a next time. We're just ending the game here now. Let's keep going. They're fine. We call. So brittle, so worthless. Nice. You made your choice. Demacia is a disease. Oh, that sucks. Let's get him. Let's just <laughs> take the turret down. If we get one pick, we should be able to just end. Let's go. That's fun. The FF, I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out. All right, we're back up again with another match. We're in platinum with a few goldies in here. So 
Yeah. The thing about the ELO, I guess, range is that Platinum has got quite a wide wide range of ELOs to jump through, quite a wide range of MMR to jump through. So we, we're going to need like a bunch of wins to be able to get to the higher side of Platinum. We're still in low plat right now, right? As you guys can clearly see, we showed plat three, plat four, gold. So we're kind of, we're around plat three, but low plat three, if it makes sense rank wise, right? So yeah, as I mentioned, I'd say after two, three more games, we're going to get diamonds, but still, right? We'll just have to see how that goes ourselves. Huh? Let's walk up. Malphite top. This one is a annoying matchup because it's quite tough to snowball against Malphite. But it's not like the worst lane in the world, right? There are, there are more difficult ones. We can certainly get a few kills. It's just that once he gets level 6, it's impossible for us to get any more kills. Because he can use his ultimate to get away from us at all points in time, right? One thing we also got to watch out for for this match specifically is that their jungle and their mid laner have global ultimates. So if we're in a side lane and we're just chilling, we can at any point be engaged on by the mid lane and jungle. And because we're up against the Malphite, he can set things up very well in that TF is ulting, Pantheon is ulting, then he ults, Pantheon Ws us, and then the TF gold cards us, and then we're dead, right? That much CC just cannot be dealt with. So we definitely have to be really careful here. This one's going to be a Merc Treads match, quite useful. They have way too much CC to not go Merc Treads, and we have to go Sterax in this match as well. So I'm thinking Starbreaker into Sterax. Also, because we're not silenting too much, we're going to be going for team fights, helping our team more. So Starbreaker, Sterax, and then we'll think about the rest of our build, right? This is how you think about builds, right? You don't have to think about the entire build from second one. Just think about it as like a tree, right? Where should I go from this point on? Have a general idea of the structure. And then, based upon the variables that changed in the game, you pick the items that you need, right? So, we're up here. Here's Malphite. We're not going to be able to do too much level 1, unless he just walks in and starts ordering the minions. Due to that ability. He can just stay at range. Also, this matchup is best to go with D-Shield Second Wind. Right, I'm being very greedy, but we're going to start right here. See, if I had my second wind and this D shield, I would have been like at a higher health. The world will chaos. Okay. Not hit him once. We're just using these, but his mana pulls also. Taking a bit of punishment. Okay. There we go. Kind of plan to take him into a bad fight here. Right, a bad fight for me, right? Well, he, of course, he'll follow up. Get the five stacks. Have the minimum give me level three. And then on time, just flash on him. Confuse him a bit. Flash W. And then go for an EQ. Even if he flashes there after I flash W, then he still has to fight us. Come on, come on. Nice, we live. Perfect, okay. That one was close, right? We had to just ghost and run out. It sucks that our wave is kind of messed up right now. I think Sas kills. Actually, no, no, no. no. Don't do it, don't do it. Yeah, like, I know he wanted to go for it, but uh, Pantheon kills him in one combo. He's too low HP. Yeah, wave sucks. Not much we can do about it, but yeah. I flashed in, flash W, walk up, prepare my EQ. I did my EQ a bit wrong there, but it didn't matter because he flashed into my Q area, at which I could just one all attack and finish him off. And fortunately, we didn't use our ghosts here to kill the Malphite because we, could, we actually have it to get away from the Pantheon. I could maybe fight here, but the main issue is that Pantheon had still had his like shield up, and that he could use that at any time to delay me killing him, and that delay would be enough for them to put me down, right? Because the risk against Pantheon is to not go like under 200-ish health, because then he can just kill you with one Q, right? It's like an execute. Be free to fight. Be free to kill. Okay, I'm wary to fight. I'm willing to fight here. Ah, 
I didn't do that correctly. The the fight I picked was that was good enough, right? The fight was decent, but if I played it a bit better, I would have killed him without dying. So that sucks. In any case, I don't mind it too much. Maybe if we had sums, we do better. But the bad part is that we lose a lot of minions here, because the Malphite's just been here the whole time farming. Let's get in here. He overstayed there, which gives us the free kill. Good. Let's get the crash in. I'm gonna see if I can proxy here. I want, to get, I want to get one more kill before the Malphite gets his ultimate. Yeah, that sucks, man. Ugh. I didn't have enough health to kill him there. He's too tanky. And he went Bramble too, so my Q heal wasn't good enough. Yeah, I really needed that bit of health from the Bramble. I definitely overplay my hand there. That sucks. Not even death can contain me. Yeah, I'm just being a bit too impatient. Malphite kind of is a bit difficult to just snowball off of due to how, like, you know... He's simple enough to the point where... You can't really count on mistakes to outplay. Like, the mistakes are just going to be so rare and few between. So... Patience is definitely needed here. So I can maybe get into his range. Cold. Let's get the wave quickly and leave before the tier gets here. Bro, what? Where? What's with the self-report? What's with? What's with the ghost? Let him ult. Let him ult. Whatever. I'm getting betrayed in here. What is wrong with that? Let's just sell it and go for the Merc Shreds. Have the extra boost speed, because I feel like it's it's been more than a few times where the boost speed would have been really useful. Right? So let's just have it and get it out of the way. Hmm. Like, what was that? It just tells him that I have my flash up? <laughs> like, what? Ugh. Matter. Well, at least we now know that Pantheon is his ultimate up, and he's in range to ult up here top. No, he went bot. Okay, we can just hook the Malphite kill him here. He doesn't have his um, ult he used to get away from us. We gotta just fight with our hook. Six, five, four, three, two, let's go. Your neck is exposed. Well, I messed the hook up, but the Silas is in range at least. He actually got away. His old cooldown just came back up in time. Oh, good. I think it's time we just leave top. There's no snowballing we can do, he just sits on the turret and is unkillable practically. 
Every time we have summons, we should be looking for a fight around top. Let's get these plants. Let's see if I can get like a blue bow for something. Watch. If he walks up, I should be able to kill him. But he won't. He just used teleport, by the way. Messed that up. There it comes. <laughs> that was the weirdest reset ever, but it was within a tick count, I guess. The bleed stack resetted it for me. But yeah, we have to walk in to make sure we're in range for a WQ there to finish him off, which we just barely were. Thank you. Not a fan of this, but I'm willing to do it if it helps the silence. We're gonna roam anyway, right? Should get on its own. Not dead. That kills me on its own. Blech. That W can actually have health them though. <laughs> so that's fun. Yeah. If I just leave it, let it to push, then it can get frozen, which is why I didn't want to. But I guess I should have, because the Pantheon was there, right? If I maybe walked out earlier, maybe we can solve the, the Pantheon. I don't know. Perhaps we should go Hullbreaker either way, but again, it's not good to stay top here. I definitely should roll more. The Malphite is just like an abyss of my time. Because in the previous matches, I could just abuse the enemy top laner. Right? I could. But I just don't see a way I can just keep getting kills off of them. Maybe now that I have Strat, I can. Right? Strat definitely opens things up, but still, right? We're, we've been able to fight with them the whole time because he actually ults into us somehow, thinking that's a good idea. Right? <laughs> but now he's, he's just going to ult away. So... Let's just keep the lane shoved in. And then roam. I'm going to get this wave and then see if I can pull for some of the... Pantheon's jump camps. Maybe even hit up mid lane. In violence! <laughs> Malphite's actually gone here. Third. At the very least, third in it. Get it. Okay. Kind of don't want to get into a fight here because we could just get teamed up on. Yeah. Don't want to miss that TF. Also, he's way too tanky to kill quickly. Okay, let's get the mana here. Should be able to eliminate this gen with a tiny bit of help. At least. What I hunger for is war. Let's just get the wave. The team actually did it on their own. That's good. You guys, let's get the wave then. No level 11, that's us. Let's get a grump. Now they know we're coming. Okay, let's get in here. What a mess! Oh my god, alright. Bro, just honor him! He dies to be the least. RIP. Yeah. I'm kind of having second thoughts about 
playing with a team here. Let's just try to avoid him, right? If he comes in, he's just going to be part of the massacre. I'm going to go bot here, get these turrets, I already have these. Also be close to the dragon for the next dragon fight. They die? Yeah. Shouldn't. Never mind. Good. TF's card range is like his auto range is low enough to the point if you just walk right at him, and he auto attacks to throw the card. You can actually get into range to hook him, but only if he has like low attack speed. If it's pretty high, then it's a bit tougher to do. And if it's high, he's going ADTF. And ADTF also has rapid fire most of the time, so you're not getting the hook against rapid fire TF, but still. Rapid fire. You get the hook easily. And also, he did not he did ever frost machine has lower range than the card, so yeah. Good. Good. Let's see if I can catch the Pantheon. See. TF works too. <laughs> Pantheon's top. Kali's quick in 2v1. Good. Let's hope she doesn't die here now. Yeah, she does. Seems we got to get this third. Gonna conserve on some mana here. I messed that up. She done stride or something. Out. Try to see if I can cut off the gin. There we are. Okay, let's get our hole breaker and then build the Sterex. You scum. <laughs> he even missed it. I should have just tanked it there. <laughs> ah. Good, good, good. Those stores give us so much gold, we can just buy all this stuff. Nice. Yeah. We're definitely on... I was gonna say we're on the winning team, but are we? Because our mid lane is winning, but the enemy jungle is popping up, and the enemy bot lane is popping off. So it's like, you know. I wouldn't say this is a team diff, right? <laughs> we're definitely a deciding factor here. I think I've secured so much gold for my team. Just look. <laughs> yeah, we checked the bounty. Despite having fed members. Hmm. Wish I could take that red buff up there, but it's not our fate, is it? Fight me, big guy! Ah. Too much CC. Too much CC. Way too much CC. I thought I could take him out one by one by one, but the, the thing that I talked about happened where I get ulted by him and the TF. If it was just the Pantheon, I like that's what, that's what I was planning for, right? Just the Pantheon, I kill him, right? But because the TF's there as well, he gets the card out, he gets the Everfrost out, and I can't really do much against that, right? I'm just stuck in place, can't do much movement to land my Qs, can't ult, can't do nothing. So, we're kind of... Messed up. Do the double ult. That's all good. We have our Sterex now. And I feel like we should go for some... Armor. At least. Let's go Cleaver actually here. Maybe. I'll see. 
If I am feeling aggressive, we can get Cleaver, but if we just die, then it's better to go for the either the Dead Mass Plate or the Death Stance. Let's get him, dude. Oh, I don't have ult, but I will once I get there. Let's go. Yeah, but he slows. That'll be a good time to use him. Perfect. Good. We bodied them. Let's get this wave and get this turret. Should be pretty easy. What are they going to do? Stun me? <laughs> Cleaver it is. Dude. <laughs> I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Okay. Let's do this and just leave. Thank God we're incredibly fed. Okay. Yeah, I gotta just cover her escape. Prepare the Baron. Can ease take it. Hmm. Now, mind you, Cleaver is a bit of a forefront choice here. I would recommend Death Sense or Dead Man's Plate at this point, right? I'm just going Cleaver for essentially fun, and also because I want to kill people better. Right? Low cooldown on my abilities. Okay, good. Get the Pantheon here. Should make the Baron even more free. Yo, that's a bit insane. Oh, they FF'd. Alright then. I say that's that. I'll see you boys in the next match. Peace out. Alright, in this match we are seeing like a sliver of higher platinum. Because we have plat 3s. Well, we have people from like all over the <laughs> rank spectrum, I guess. We have a silver here. We got a gold in here. We have a few, but... Most importantly, we're now running into Platinum 1s, right? A good portion of this match is populated by Platinum 1s. So, I get the feeling that we are moving up in the world, which is a good thing, right? A few more wins, and then we should see our first diamond, I'm sure. But this is a match that I have to win, because with there being more chaos in the ranks of the people involved in this match, this means that if I win this one, we will gain a lot of MMR. Right? And if we get in a lot of MMR, it should skyrocket us to the um, diamond region. <coughs> that sucks. We're gonna have to go for a lot of tenacity here. Man, look at them. Hmm. Should have stacked tenacity in my runes. The bad part is we kind of need Swifties to snowball on this Vladimir. Well, Swifties are really hard to. Kill him over and over again. Hmm. In any case, Vladimir top. Let's chill for now. Can we not just lose this one by default? I know the if he goes AFK, the MMR hit is just going to be the same. Doubt we're going to be allowed to remake. I hope we're allowed to remake, man. Okay, he's still in the game. That's good. I'll go for the Q for Q. <clears throat> I have to get a bunch of kills here to bring the hopes of my team back. So let's hope that we get into a 2v1 here. I 
Ah, if we didn't have the ignite, we would have had him. I kind of for that as closely as I could have. But I guess that last bit of ignite damage was too much. Dude, the lane is so bad now. Oh my god. This is such a terrible lane spot. Ooh. Zooey Mama. Alright, I have to be way more active this game. I gotta just even not even play for the lane. Not doubting that I can kill this Vladimir again. But what I am worried about is that this is the kind of match that... The deeper you are into Smurf Q, the more unstable humans you have on your team. And that's what I'm expecting here. Unstable humans, right? So if we don't do something quick, then these guys are just going to lose their minds in FF. There we go. Something like that would be good. Oof. Something just like that is perfect. Not only are we super fed, but we get... We hopefully inspire the team to go on. Perfect. Let's just recall. Um... Is that heal necessary here? I kind of want to get it so I can one-shot the Vlad, right? Don't want any funny business there. Hmm. I'll go Swifties. I'll, I'll sell it and switch it out later on into the game. Uh, I'll, I'll just have to go for it. Right now, I need to snowball, right? And I need the move speed to snowball on the Vladimir, which is why I'm going to go for Swifties here. Get a bunch of more kills. But, I mean, I am planning on once. It's like a... You know, full team fights 5v5, then I switch, and, and then I sell it for Merc Treads. I, like, I'm, I'm just going to be tryouting as much as I can here. Oh, he messed that up. Oof, that's no good. The Ringer messed up the the bull. I won't submit to the mandates of tyrants. I doubt that kills him. Maybe. Yeah, it does it. Nice. Whew. You gotta love Swifties, boys. Of course. I will lead the charge, men. Worry not. Okay, let's leave. <clears throat> Both was a strike breaker. Good. Seth's running ignite TP. That's like <laughs> that's so cheese, honestly. Ugh. This Rengar desperately needs kills. All he's doing is just running around map farming. And he's doing a bit better than the Echo, I'd say. I think he's a bit better than Echo right now because we killed the Echo, right? But he still needs... He needs kills to be useful. But on the other hand, like, I don't know if this is a match he can be too useful in. The enemy team just has, like, enough annoying stuff to just render him, like, a bit unplayable. Right. I'll escort you, Mr. President. All right, okay, I think it's time to leave. Uh, so I can get a more gun here. Perfect. Not done yet. She's her. Stun. Go. Yeah, I would go for the Twitch kill too, but my summers don't last long enough. I lose so much farm top though, that's so bad, but we do kill everyone on the enemy team, practically, right? We shoot through the Morgana, 
the Vladimir, the Syndra. So that's perfect. Next time I have Ghost, I'll be heading down here to take out the switch. Oh, that's unlucky. That's unlucky. She didn't have enough mana for Q. I knew she wanted Q to kill the Twitch there, and it would have worked, but she didn't have the mana for it. Let's shove this in quickly. Quickly does it. Let's ward up. Ah, he went through that way. It's pool gone. We can dive him once the bleed's over. Yeah. I took up way more than I could chew. That was insanely stupid to dive that. Without ult. Because with the IQ, W ult kill him. But that those extra ult attacks under the turret, too taxing. Huge mistake there. We feed that gold to Vladimir too, which is so bad, honestly. God. At least we got a stride breaker out of that, which is fine. You can't kill me in a way After the stride, I'm looking for... Dead mass plate, right? I'm looking for force of nature. Like, I, I don't know. Let's just go hold breaker. Let's go hold breaker. Because I definitely need move speed. I need move speed. Definitely. But... The thing is, right, if I go for DMP, it's just useless. Because the only thing it's going to help, the only person it's going to help against is the Twitch, right? So, if we're going move speed, we basically got to keep it on the AP side of things. I mean, the magic position, I mean. Let's go for this again. I'm just going to do this over and over again, now that I know where he is. Come on, the big guy. I think Sabre's coming. That's his ult gone. Come on now! Good. Okay, yeah. Now we're getting the ringer up. That's good. If we can get him online, it should be perfect for us. That wasn't hook range? No. Suppose I wasn't working the right walking in the right direction. Let's get the assist. I came down for the assist gold on the Herald, kind <laughs> just to yank that amount. Y'all know how it is. Should have gone for it, but whatever. I don't want to brute force this turret here. Okay, we'll see what. Good. Let's get the next wave. Um, so not have Halberger Gold. My eyes are on the Syndra. Okay. She's not running around here, so it's fine. We're safe. Um, 
I have ghosts to run away just in case. But yeah, I'm here to farm, I'm not going for kills. Okay, let's get the crab and the grump, and then we can sell our D shield for the Hullbreaker. You can't freeze it. I think that's enough. Right? Yep. Good. Bam. Bam. Okay, we have both our sums. I'll try to brute force top and crash that in, and then try to see what I can do mid. Alternatively, we could also go for a play bot. This could also work. And the plates are down. They went there. They, they got their own play down. Good. I'll brute force mid turret. With a signature on our way bot. Seems pretty free. Uh, they're both here. Vlad's down there. Okay, good. Let's show this in and get the turret. Yeah, the Icon Decision defended this, so... Rip. Nice. Rengar is now online. He's he's just carrying it out. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Good. Let's keep on going. I have this, I have double sum, so I should be able to take care of them. Ah, she has Sonya's Argolis, which does delay things, doesn't it? Let's try not to get stunned by Echo W here. There's no one in our way. Good. If Echo comes up here, we just kill him. Oh, I could get my W on him. Ah, close. Let's go for the rebel then. Or the Syndra kill, that could also work. And my sums can go for this. Did I catch her in time? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Yeah, no. Also, she is farmed up pretty well, man. Oof. Look at it. Let's see if I can get the echo here. You guys like that? You guys like that? <laughs> Oof. Man, fights like that get my heart pumping. Perfect. Let's pick up our Sterox. I don't have sums, but I feel like I can maybe do something down here. I'll walk like this, and then try to do a path like that, or like that, to cut them off. Hmm. Suppose I'll have to bait the MF then. <laughs> Alright, she just gets to kill like that. Perfect, nice, nice, nice. I don't mind that, I don't mind that. It's a waste of my time, obviously, but the fact that MF gets those kills is good for her. Yeah. I should just gone for the hook W ult. That was greedy of me. I missed that. The freest kill up, man. Ugh. Because I do enough damage to just kill him straight with all attack up there. Or why are you still coming, bot?
Ah, uh, that was bad, that was bad. We got five men here. I thought that was backup. I thought it was our team coming in, not the enemy. Oof. They should have five men bought. That's good. Let's get Force of Nature. We definitely need to double up on match this year. Twitch is going to be able to do a lot of damage to us, but we'll just have to deal with it, right? So Force of Nature, and then into a Spear, uh, uh, spear of Visage. I'm not sure if the Spear of Visage part is too necessary, but still. I'm going to keep the Swifties for now, but now is around the time where, I'm where I'll am where i be looking to like change it out, right? So let's see how these fights go. But expect it... Expect to switch around now. Okay. Hmm. Bro, he was gonna ult the entire time, man. Nice. I didn't even realize it was there. Good. Pick my two nice kills. Dude, this MF, she's kind of following up nicely, which I appreciate. The first push she followed up on didn't go so well, but she actually followed up here too. She's actually recognizing that we're making plays. She's helping, which I appreciate more than you think, right? In these kinds of low-elo games, you're kind of just like praying that somebody helps you. And when someone does, it's just the freest game ever. Because you literally have someone on your side, if, like, if you think of it like that, right? Someone who gets what you're trying to do. Man. They should have increased the amount of move speed you got from this to 15% after taking, like, after destroying the Dissipate passive. They should have definitely, like, replaced, like, they should have buffed the move speed. Because, like, the 30 MR is not the same as the 25% cut, right? And you don't understand the severity of how bad of a nerf this is if you aren't really literate with math, right? But... To put it simply, like MR because becomes less and less valuable the more of it you have, right? But that 25% was outside the resistance system. It was just it straight up hit the damage, right? So it was huge. But now it isn't. In any case, who's left? Let's get this quickly. No FFM boys. I can take those three. Dude, I messed up my flash there. If I if I did my flash properly, I would have killed the Vladimir, but man, he's got a lot of move speed. <sighs> Fun mage items. In any case, um It's not a FF. <laughs> I have nothing to say. I could have also tried to gone for some sort of like stacks on the Morgana, but then she could just ult me. Right? And if she ults, that's a like, game over for us. Because there's not enough space for me to move out of it and we don't have ghost, right? Also, I think it, now's the time we got to go for Merc Treads. We can no longer delay anymore. The CC is really starting to hurt. Go, Baron. Echo is dead. This rebellion isn't over yet. I'll do that. Don't die mid. Let's think. Shoot pretty free. Perfect. All right. Prepare to siege. Okay. 
You dare. Okay, yeah. <sighs> At least we win the fight, like, really hard. Rengar follows up. It's good. <sighs> yeah, that CC is crazy high. Really messes up. Messes us up. That's more guys, especially, but it's fine. End the game. They're all dead. Don't die now! Oh my god! Just hit the Nexus, hit the Nexus, hit the Nexus. <laughs> Alright, the FF. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out. Alright, we're back from Gameplay Work is Irelia Top, and this is a match further into Platinum. As you guys can see, we have more Platinum ones, and we even have someone who has a Master's banner, so our MMR is moving up quite nicely. I really is honestly not a matchup I've fought in a long, long time. You know, she's not really played top lane that much nowadays. Bit of a difficult champion to play in general, right? And they have a relatively like nasty team for team fights, right? They got all these ults and stuff, but a lot of the team is low range and melee. So I feel like we should go for a setup that gives us a lot of it, like ability haste first off we need a lot of ability haste maybe some healing too so this might be a divine sunder game right divine sunder into like a cleaver maybe and then we can go for a sterax hope a no-go right we can't really mess with melees this badly like on a side lane i'd rather just build for team fights right so divine cleaver sterax into full tank hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not volunteering to die there, pal. Uh. I'll just scout from here. I get it, I get it, I get it. <laughs> um. <laughs> she just. <laughs> she's just chilling, man. <laughs> All right, whatever. At least, okay, the Kisante can box. At least I know that. Man, I did all that for you, and you're just sitting here farming, right? Okay. Whatever. Doesn't matter, does it? In any case, we got two kills there. A bunch of gold to start off with. So, this is going to be a nice old match. Let's just go for a permafreeze or something. All right, let's crash this in. Um, that's a terrible crash, honestly. Yeah, we're in a bit of a risky spot right now. I thought the Bellweth would be here, honestly, but Always she isn't, so that's good. Let's go with the shove then. Should be able to kill her in one attack. Let's keep our abilities.
Gotta go straight up. <gasps> oh, oh, dude, the minions! <laughs> ah! Dude, she got so much bounty gold off that! Oh my god! <laughs> no, no! Alright, whatever. Um, it is what it is, I suppose, right? The wave is still in a good position for us, I can probably kill her again, but man... We just barely got away from the turret and the minions were enough to kill us. Sh Instead of going down into them, I should have just gone straight back up. Man. To get away from the minions. Yeah, let's just walk in here and brute force kill her. I doubt she can stop us. Should we be dead? I really don't like this guy. I really dislike this guy. So just beelining up here, he just like farms. Let's go mid. Thing is, if I waited for the Nico, she would take ages. So whatever, I'll kill the Yasuo here. I timed the all attack with this NATO. Let's get the turret plating. Don't want to overdo it. I mean, overstay. It's best to just recall and go back top. Okay, we should get all the components. Let's go top. I mean, we've completely turned the entire game on its head, right? In our favor. Kisanti is eating every single time we kind of mess things up, right? Arel is behind. He's behind. Belweth is completely just destroyed for this match. So, if the Nico can now win in bot lane, do how much we've won, we've won top on our own, then this game should be a wrap. Like a 20 15 minute. Or... She actually got that wave crash real quick. Yep. Gotta hold it like this and sacrifice some health. It sucks, but we just got to. Let's try to go back. Good. That should hold on its own. It's a cannon wave too, so it should hold really nicely. Yeah, we sacrificed like 300 health for it, but it's worth it for the lane position. We're so strong that we really, there really isn't much of a risk. Unless we get 2 3 manned. Then there is a risk, but I doubt that's going to happen. Okay. Where's the Yasuo? I could push right now because they rarely is mid, but not until I see Yasuo. Okay, let's shove. Okay, Santa actually lives. That's a miracle, honestly. Dude, what are you doing? Help him! Just, okay, I think this person is trolling. They're playing bad, and then they're straight up... Just griefing. I'm trying to 2v1 the early Belveth. A little risky. That's what we live for, isn't it?
She dies too. I messed that flash key up really hard, but she died anyway. Okay. I seriously doubt that they're like <laughs> have any fight left in them. Let's recall. I hope that dies on its own. Come on. I, I didn't get that? That was such a storyline and it didn't give it to me. Wow, okay. Time to put these little lambs like, like, it was such a high stakes moment for me to get that plating. I just, like, whatever. I guess it took too long for us. Okay, Sante is really strong, man. Like, this, this guy knows how to play. This guy definitely knows how to play. Like, he, he's like the, the type of player that we are in that he, he can 1v9 a game on his own, right? So. Two of us together, and the enemy team should just not be able to play at all. Okay, that's a good idea. I messed that part up so bad, man. Hmm. Let's farm Bell with his jungle. Invite a 3v1. And win it, of course. I would also appreciate the blue buff at this point. <clears throat> let's go, let's go, let's go. Set up pretty bad. We get the 2v1, we got a double kill and a 3v1, but hmm. like they got within each other, so it was tough for me to select the target. Uh, it's fine. At least I had fun. Alright, they're barely scraping together a lead here. It's good. No! Just push into me. Good. Let's get up there. Get our black cleaver. Imagine the Yasuo Beyblades in there and it just dies instantly. That's such a Yasuo thing to do, isn't it? He actually stayed in Kesanti's range there. Oh my god. Oh, sweetheart. Whoa. The fact that she got even close was crazy there. This item's insane, man. Wow. I really are gaming. Watch out, guys. She's full build. <laughs> Just kidding. She was, she was full build with Vampire Scepter. She was full build 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Alright, let's get this turret, get the wave, and leave. Actually... Is that the best idea? I got hit by her stun, she kills me there, which is why I was a bit skeptical, but because I, you know, completely outplayed her there and employed an EQ combo, she fell. Nice. Let's go, Sturks now. Fit for a king. <laughs> Fit for a king. No way, bro. Won't mess with your sad lane. Why are we not taking dragons? Because Nico is griefing. 
it straight up. <laughs> is she not a griefing or she has n she's never played the jungle? Because some of these mistakes are so basic. I know we're smurfing and this is platinum, right? So don't take us. Oh, this smurf from go fly with his teammates. But it's like, at some point, it's like, okay, there's a guy struggling there. Let's help him. Dragons. Let's take dragons. These are basic enough that even you watching this could recognize that it's something that has to be done, right? Like, you watching this would just know that it has to be done and do it, right? So it's like, the fact that she's not doing it means either she's not a jungle player or the more obvious answer, she's kind of in thing, right? I'll give her the benefit of the doubt for now, right? I'll give her the benefit of the doubt, right? But just, you know, my thoughts are a bit more negative from what I've seen. Because a bad player, this is what I've realized. If a person is playing terribly, they at least try to help, okay? They try to help, they don't do it well, they don't do it well. They mess up at doing it, but they at least try to help. Baby Amadillos. Right? A bad player at least tries to help and fails at it. But an inter doesn't help at all. Anyway. Basically for this match, I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out. Alright, so we have our first diamond. In this match, everybody is all over platinum. So we got plat 4s, plat 3s, plat 2s, plat 1s, and one diamond for player. So it just took, let me see here, um, nine match, well, eight wins in a row to get us our first diamond player on this account. So it's, uh, it's easier than it looks. I'm just gonna, not easier, but if you win enough in a row, climbing it, to these higher ranks is faster than you think it is, right? It's not like the old way where you have to win like 40 times to get diamond, right? <laughs> or it's not like in the Smurf queue, where it was faster than that, but winning games was just a nightmare because it was unbalanced. It's way faster now. Just eight games, we're almost at, we're, we're almost at diamond. Now we are, this is probably like a diamond player who's like, quote unquote, down on their luck, right? They have D rank after losing this, that type beat, but um, still. A few more wins, and we should be there securely. Now we're going with D-Shield because this Camille has Flash Ignite and Grasp. So I'm expecting her to fight a lot here. Which means we'll have to have some sustain for the lane. Thought the bleed would take it. Hurry up. Are you serious? <gasps> How did she survive that? Man, I hate this. Like, she got the cookies, right? Ugh. I'm a big hater of the, t like, the inspiration tree. Because it causes things like this to happen. Hmm. Oh. She'll only have that trick available to her once, fortunately. I know this is super cheese, but she's level one. I don't have mana for my W. I would have killed her there. Almost. If I had my W, if I had W mana, I would have killed her there. Yeah, that was not a good idea. I went too aggressive. Which ended up in my death. We paid the price. Just a bit more mana. And we kill her there. That would have been such a devastating kill too because of how the wave is right now, right? It's so like pushed in. She lost a lot of minions. And we're still ahead of her, right? By a huge margin. But now she's kind of back into it, right? Instead of being insanely behind, she's just kind of behind. You know what I mean? Try to hook her out of this one. Ah, 
How does she survive a second time? Again? Huh. Let's get her hook in. You chose the wrong side. Dude, that time warp tonic. It literally just pops into instant HP. She uses to survive my bleeds. Alright, we'll come in there. I have to outplay them on so many levels to kill them, but finally they met the fate that they deserved. Let's get this wave crashed in. <laughs> oh my god. I outplayed them on so many levels there. It was so frustrating that they just wouldn't die, man, but jeez. Finally. There we go. Those cues were so crucial, by the way. We mess up any one of those cues and we're dead there like that. So, quite important to get them done correctly. Let's get the Hearthbreak. Hearth. Hearth. Brown Axe. There we go. Hearthbreaker. Uh, let me think of what's good in this game here. I think Stridebreaker is the best, right? Stride, Hullbreaker would be great. Good. Alright. Let's just parent freeze this. Should we really get here in time? Nice. Why are you? <laughs> Why did someone danger ping that? <laughs> oh, be careful, bro. Hmm. Yeah, she cannot play the game here. Can hold this for as long as I want. We are all wolves. They don't want to queue there. We have a good game going here, so we can play it slow instead of being overly aggressive and forcing stuff. That lands on me? Stay up around here. She's being way more confident out of nowhere. It's actually disgusting how long she survives because of her pots and stuff. Like, <laughs> man, <laughs> she should have died to like two more ticks of bleed or just one, but she actually survived quite a bit. It's really surprising, man. Oh. We can't show up this. Well, we can, but we shouldn't so that we can just freeze it again, right? I also should have recalled earlier so I could actually freeze it again. Now she has time to properly shove this all in. So that's not good. Uh, let me think here. Let's go for that. Oh, this is, I, I don't know. I think I talked through this in one of the previous matches, but um, my now fed let's kill everyone 1v9 setup just has swift these second just to be able to outmaneuver people earlier on. All right, movement is very important. There is, so if I can have this early, we can cook. 
All right, let's get in here. We got a tank a lot to be able to freeze this, but we have potions, so we were able to do that without any problems. That ignited a lot of work, huh? Your neck is exposed. Okay, let's get this quickly. Good, it should break on its own. Recall, let's pick up our kill gem. <clears throat> Tell him, Darius. Tell him, Darius. Oh, there. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's particularly wise to go into the melee rage of Diana. Because <laughs> she got popped, like, twice. After that first burst of damage, you'd think she'd just back off. <laughs> right, alright, whatever, I can't deal with this. But I just kept going. I suppose she has the spirit of a warrior inside of her. It just couldn't be helped. Oh, there. Dude, Diana is fed. She's one-shotting people left and right. Wow. And we're somewhat fed, too, but we gotta put money into our boots here. Where she just goes for everything. Oh, she, she actually got killed there. Wow, okay. That sucks. It's gonna hold the freeze even longer. The Camille should just be straight up. Um. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get those words out of our sight. No, no, no words, guys. Sorry. YouTube policy. Corporate Roku arc. <laughs> <laughs> like like WWE. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> All right. There she is. Good, I've got two minutes to get the sword. I will save the world from its weakness. Okay, we're in the home stretch now. Vision in and harass the Camille even further. You could have walked away. I am infinite. Ain't nobody wants to hear you, bro. Homie's he's shouting so loud that everybody on the map can hear him. All right, let's go get our stride and then build into our hole. Bam. Bam. Let's go mid. We'll see where I end up, but um, if things happen bot lane, like the enemy team groups aren't bot lane, I'll go bot. If nothing, if Diana goes down, I'll go mid. If, I don't know, she stays mid, I'll go top. It seems she's going top instead of me, so I guess we're swapping. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. So I'll have a fish to walk up. Yeah. 
this one is not one we should be taking our time in. We can kill the Wukong here. Nope. Let's go top. <coughs> Wasted a bunch of time in mid here. Let's get this wave. New ward is gonna die soon. <laughs> I don't think I do. <laughs> nice. Grump next. Nice. Okay, we have Fallbreak of Gold. Let's go around and spread our influence bot lane. Uh, they both had their sums. Rip. <laughs> nice fiddle. Okay, I doubt we can ca like catch them here because I'll let them have it. Yeah, I doubt we can catch them there. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> what a roast! What a roast, man! Like you? <laughs> oh my god, dude! There's there's no Cassio left after that roast, man. This it just got burned. Oh my god. <laughs> Oof. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm too fed to care. Let's steal some gold here. Good. Okay, the 25. Y'all know how it is. I don't think they're opening. Let's get out of here. Good. Sterics, and then we can leave. Pathetic. Let's see here. I don't really need anything, honestly. We can pick up one thing of magic resist and then just go for DMP. An age of conflict is within our grasp. Let's go. Yeah, I mean they're kind of just hanging on pointlessly here. <laughs> There's no game left. Alright, G. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out.
All right, here we are in Diamond. Well, not completely in Diamond, but half the players here are D4, which I think squarely puts this MR right in the border between High Plat and Low Diamond. I think we win this one, which is securely in Diamond for sure. Now, unfortunately, we're up against Zed Top, which is going to be really annoying because Zed kind of counters Darius in lane. The main issue is that Zed has ranged poke, and his shadow allows him to get away from us before we can do anything to him, right? Now, obviously, we can maybe use our ghost to kill him here and there, which could work sometimes, but it's really tough, right? I'll have to do some sort of cheese here, in my opinion. Gotta get early armor, so... The cheese could be dead man's plate first item. I know it sounds insane, but the moose speed will basically allow us to catch up to him even after his shadow's away without our ghost. So... Swifties, DMP into Strybreaker, and then we can build the rest of our build up, but we'll see how it goes, right? If he ints us, obviously, then we could just, whatever, like, ignore it and just continue landing and playing, like, normal with a normal human's build, but, um, if he doesn't, they can go for this. In any case, he is going to teleport, which puts his kill pressure down on us significantly. As long as we land our Qs, he shouldn't be able to put us down. Their team is also a little fearsome, I'd say. Lots of CC. Lots of annoying CC point and click. Difficult to avoid. The trap if we do get caught, and then the knockoff from the Velkos. So, we've got to do a lot of good like maneuvering in this match. Our movement has to be like has to be like top notch, basically. Let's see if the Zed's leashing. We should be able to cheese kill him, but I doubt he is. Honestly, that's yeah, the bottom. Line. When bowling leashes, they kind of come one by one like that. That sucked. Missed. Two CS. Just trying to um, zone him. From some CS here. Ah, I missed that so, like, he was three stacks and I just got the level two. That was so bad. If I could hook him more cleanly and get that last auto attack, I could have maybe gotten like a flash. Kind of ran out of screen space though. Which is why I messed things up. Quite tough to get anything done this lane, isn't it? We must escape this prison of peace. <laughs> uh, I should have flashed. I should have flashed. I should have flashed. I didn't think he had enough damage, and the wave is so messed up. That sucks. Yep, we're going to DMP first. That's for sure. Yeah, the flash key would have killed them both there too. I should just flash instantly for the flash auto, maybe. The worst part is just the way this wave is, man. This sucks so hard. I'll purge the old order so it cannot stifle the crucible of violence. I'll have to definitely take another approach. This is like that Malphite match where they're just playing a pick that I can't outplay, right? I can't just win this by skill. So I have to find like a like creative means to play this one out. Block, I would have gone in range. Good. I smell your fear. Good. God, that took a while. Oof. Perfect. 
Hmm. I gotta get armor first. Armor and HP. No boots. Let's walk up. Our foes are weak. We'll have ghosts coming back up. We did flash a flash here. Bam, bam. So I should be able to get a kill on that ghost here. I hate that they made it so that the W has no limit anymore. Like, before Zed, if he walked away a certain distance, he couldn't go to the shadow anymore. But Riot being the company they are, they just remove counterplay randomly. <laughs> so now he can, regardless of the distance to his W. So we're kind of stuck. Not stuck, but if he Ws, we have to just play around it. We can't just um, like chase him out of the range. Just don't walk that way anymore. If I can just get in the range with him. I'll take it. I think if I ghost early, like right now to start the fight, the time it takes for me to catch up to him, there could be a world where he just like um chases around enough that we don't kill him and the ghost runs out, right? It's not the world we want to get to. Disgusting character, man. <laughs> uh, he's so mobile. I played that badly too. It took me a while to get my level six, which is why I kind of fumbled around a bit and it gave him room to just outplay me. Should have gone in instantly instead of waiting. It's fine. We got him. DPS him. I get the XP for him, so I don't mind it. Went Tobbies just to get the armor and the boots. This is a really annoying matchup, honestly. I could just play it a bit more safe, right? And not constantly play aggressively, which is why he's able to do this to me, but... If I play too passively, then... I don't know. I don't snowball enough, I'm gonna counter these guys. Let's go for the gank on the Vex here. I should be able to get behind her. <coughs> No fear on her. Good. Let's get back top. Pick the minions up. He gets a plate here, but it's worth it for the kill. Like, I mean, if we can't snowball off of him, I gotta snowball off of his teammates. Let's just keep this shoved in so we can roll more. Bad flip, both the shurikens hit me. Be free to fight. He's got loose speed, man. I know he did me there, then I set up my Q and put him down. Come on. Oh, oh, good, good. Should be fine. Kali picks up the kills. Not good that both me and the Kindred die, but given that I was already in that fight, there's not much more I could have done. Hmm. 
Let's just go for the DMP. I know it's super cheese, but it's the kind of place that we have to adopt to in this match. And also, it doesn't like make the lane worse, for example. Like with Stride, if we play it properly, we kill him better. But that mass play doesn't make it so that we lose because we don't have Stride, right? This is actually better for the lane, but still. We should be able to kill him here with a Kali on the way. I'm pretty sure she solos him, like just straight up. Dude, dude. That's not a disgusting mobility on a character at all, is it? Let's go. I have R, which makes things difficult. God, I should just R. I should just ult it. I played that so badly. I hate Zed so much, man. Uh, dude, like, it, it, it's not that the character is that bad. It's just we're playing Darius here, which kind of makes his amount of ability just look so like oppressive in comparison. Bruh, whatever. Because even if I move earlier, like, it's still not an advantaged fight. When he kind of messes around the range, I kind of know enough to just kill him by default, but... <sighs> the movie fights are... So, like, the, the fights that move around, they're so bad. <laughs> Yes, it did. Okay, now we have our dead mass play, which should be a huge help. Let's get the crash in and get up here. Or down here, rather. Akali. Dude, we had so many kills on her, now she's starting to feed. That's not good. Yeah, let's get that stride quickly. He's going cleaver. Okay. Going, get the wave crashed in. It's the second time he's stolen stuff like that. Really greedy of me to go for this, but I can. Don't really have anything else to do, also. here if I can. No, way, she's backing off. Okay. Maybe we can kill the Lee. Yeah, I'll chill around here. Kind of just bait her, honestly. Takes here her little tilt episode she had earlier. Okay. 
He's like just a nuisance at this point. I won't submit to the mandates of violence. Let's go spend our gold. We have a ghost up for another gank here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Here's a run down there. Based on my ghost, I guess. Collect your souls there. Oh, good. Let's just get back to the farm. Can I get him? Probably not. The best part about DMP is that he does no damage to us. Let's do that to him. Slippery little worm in. Let's get a turret. Gonna be like a bit close though because we don't have like AD. Nice. Let's get the next wave and we should be good to go. Good. I'd love to go down there and kill the Vex, but no. Let's go stride and let's see where we can move next. Good. I got Stride Breaker. Alright. I'll chill around here still, but I'm gonna keep my eyes on bot lane in case I'm needed there. Akali seems to be doing a lot of work, so I don't think I do, but... Alright, Zed's teleporting. Let's move down there anyway. Preemptively. There's gonna be some sort of action here, and it's good for us to be a part of it, because we instantly win it, right? <laughs> hmm. Let's go for the mid turret then. This. The answer it? How do you give it to me? Seriously, that one lost. Well, the one la that one last auto attack was just <laughs> personal. The turret had it out for me. Okay, let's get down here. So over there, got it. Down there. I just need my ghost. I can cook. That's how it's done. Good. Let's recall, get top farm. I could just stay with the Ezreal and get the turret, but the thing is, if they answer this, then I don't have the mana to fight them back, so it's best for me to just chillax. Let's get our... I don't know about Holebreaker, but... Like, it sounds good here, right? It sounds good here, but I still don't know about it. Might just go for Sterax, as is. But Holebreaker sounds very attractive here. It's an option. I'll see, I'll see. If I can get more and more kills, and I don't really need any more move speed than Starx it is, but if I seem to do need the move speed, then Hullbreaker. The main thing is though, right? 
we're kind of winning with a team, so we might not need it really, but then Holberg here will allow us to like really dive them quite deep. And then kill them single-handedly. Can I solo stop them here? Let's get out, let's get out, let's get out. Ah, uh, yeah, this sucked. Uh, that was crazy for me to go for. Why did they go for that, man? It was insane. Let's get one more HP thing. Guys, guys, guys. Yeah, it was crazy for me that he gives him free burn. Oh my god, that was bad. We have such a nice lead, too. What a shame. What a shame. Like, 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 it's not good to die around the Baron when no one's around it, too. Oh my god. I should have played the rest of the match out as perfectly as I can. No more stupid mistakes. Let's go. There's a big fight here. Let's take part. Also, that <laughs> kid sure walking in there was really messed up. She just walked into the jaws of death. Okay, let's run, let's run. We gotta go. Wait, I mean, we got DMP, we got DMP. Uh. Ah, that sucks. I got one, but I don't have the sums for the rest. Not the worst death, but the Baron really gave them a second wind. It really gave them a second wind. The potential was more than one kill was for more than one kill was there. It's just tough when they're that united. They have a lot of magic damage as well. That Holbaker couldn't come earlier. Like we need this ace up. I shouldn't have spent this money. Than what it had right now. Well, not really. I would have had to waste waste like um, twenty seconds, but still. Let's go up here. This rebellion isn't over yet. When I flash up, we can do some more hype plays. That's good. My other team's also one shot, but which works in our favor. Find freedom. Let's get this quickly. Ez has got a lot of work cut out for him because he's gonna be our main wave clearer. Okay, let's recall. I'll be there, I'll be there, I'll be there. Don't get one shot now. Okay, let's do this, let's do this. That Vex is dead for sure, no? Okay. Too much. That's up to her then. Bro, what? Oh my god, I'm calling. Fine. There we go. Who's left? Zed, Lee, Velkos. Velkos is the big tart there. Skill shots. Let's go. Where's the Lee now? Play that so terribly. Ah, oh, I should have just left, man. I, I played the last part. I played it good until it, like I played it terribly, but then at the end I slowly picked it up and then I messed it up again by staying in range. I should have just left it. 
But we do get the dragon, so that's good enough. Just wish I could have done more with my sums, but I'll take this. Dude, Vex would be stupid to take this. Okay. Yeah. Ain't he a fun champ? It's quite fed now. I'll have to use my next flash to put him to bed. Let's push out top side. I hope the Akala can handle him. She kinda can, but if she overcommits and messes her abilities up, then no. I don't know, she kind of shows to be like decent at the game though, so I don't think... I, I'm trying, I'll try to start a chaser. Let's go on down there. there. Let's run in. Let's run in. Perfect. Too mobile for me. Should stay closer to the Kindred. Take closer to the kindred. That red buff on the Caitlyn really messed me up there. It's the slows. This one's looking bad for us. Yeah, we should group, honestly. I gotta just go with the team more, really. Just, like, mere objective gains isn't good enough. I have to wipe out their half, like, like half a team of my sums. Not doing it, okay. We have a kill here for free. Thought she'd flash. We can try to go for this, yeah. Someone's got this. Good. Good. That's phase gold right there. Maybe if I can cut him off, I can get a better combo. A thousand more years of stagnation. Probably not. Should use the plant, by the way. Pretty sure that message from the Ezreal was meant for us, <laughs> and not them. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. Stand still and die, you critter. Good, they did some good work here. And Sona. <sighs> I'm not gonna take back the things I've historically said about Sona that are negative, but I'm glad she's on my team here. <laughs> I'm glad this Sona is on my team right now. I'll just put it that way. Honestly, I think we could kill them, but if we don't want to, that's fine. Let's take it safe. Also, he shouldn't hang around here like this. But he's cooking, though. But again, <laughs> they're eventually going to get him. Let me think of what's good here. Um, Think, 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 think. Kinda. If the moose be proc, it's going to be super huge for me. So yeah, why, the, why not? I'll go for it. But if things don't go too well, then we might be able- we might have to steer it towards like a randomness or something against the Caitlyn. 
All right, gotta match top first though. Let's get the wave first and run down. Should be pretty fast. Good, let's run. We'll use the plants. Good. All right, they, they just won it on their own. Good job, boys. Wonderfully done. Let's end. That was an insanely stressful match due to the lane that was picked against us. But with a little help from these guys, we managed to put together a victory. And that's that. Wonderful. GG. Whew. That took a that took a while, didn't it? Uh, yeah. Well, that's that. With let me just have a do a head count here. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've won ten matches in a row, and now we are basically in diamond. Okay, because again, as I showed that last match was average match of like diamond four and high platinum, so now we're basically in D4, or a little diamond in general. Anyway, I'll see you boys in the next one. Sorry for the black screen, but I don't really have anything else to put here. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out.